Today we are going to build the e-commerce website completely scratch using the Tailwin CSS and MongoDB, Node.js, Express and React for the UI. And here you can see we have added the some tags and here we have added by uh, some delivery partner like a delivery and here you can see this card after that here I will added the slide also and here you can filter a product by your own which you want to this and this will be the responsive also like that you can see uh, let me just show here you can see when I was go on the mobile version it will look like this like this you can see it will be here and you have ability to slide this images and here you can the also the here you can filter also like that and here in the card section if you have ability to add item to your card here see this number is increases and here you can see you want to increase the any product you can increase the quantity it's and you want to de delete any product here you can delete this yeah this one and here I was also added the login here click on the login see here display the login if you have already registered you can log in with your email ID and password if you not just click on the sign up here I was also added the upload your profile image click here and here you can give the name after that your last name and here you you ability to enter your email id like here i will enter the one two three and at the rate gmail.com after that here i will give the password one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and click on the sign up this email id is already registered also so here you can just change this here I will give the 4 and click on the sign up yeah now it will redirect to the your login page and after that here enter the email id 1234 at the gmail.com after that your password and click on the login and here login is successfully and which image you have uploaded on the sign up section here display also now let's start to build this let's go on the our vs code editor and please like this video and subscribe the channel and let's start to build this and one more things i was forgetted to uh, show you that when you click on the any of this product like here it will redirect here and here you can see this uh, name of the product category price and here you can see this cake any of this product you can click it will redirect here and it will be show the some animation see when I just click it will be slow motion scroll on the top section like this types of way let's start this and like this video let's go on the VS code editor in VS code editor go on the terminal section new terminal after that here type npx create react app and up give the name of the folder I give the front end and press enter now this react app installation is started it's a take some time approximately one minute or 30 second depend on the internet connectivity and uh, your PC configuration it will be installed I will be back again
now here installation is completed after that here uh, go on the folder front end and write write type npm start press enter now our react app is started you can see here and uh, our app is yeah now our app is also done now open this front end folder and let me little bit down this and go on the src folder and app.js de delete all these things and here i can give the just uh, fragment tag and delete this part uh, here write write uh, react app for now and go on the app.js file css file just select this and press delete and let me show you again here you can see our all things will be gone now for styling purpose i use the tailwind css let me just install the tailwind first of all we go on the tailwind uh, documentation here just type tailwind css and click on the start get a start and go on the framework guidelines uh, for your referencing purpose go on the create react tab after that we have already learned this part uh, this npx create react app and project name and open this folder now i want to do this this one just copy this command i want to stop our react tab for stopping purpose press the control c uh, okay here i want to give and press cy this will be uh, stop our react tab if you want to check stop or not just go on this browser and refresh this now here you can see our react app is not shown and this icon will be changed in the form gray and now let me just paste this okay i was not copy uh, just copy this and here i can give the paste here and second command yeah now this will be done uh, when you uh, this command will be run then here create a tailwind.config.js file and in that uh, file you want to change something like uh, in the content section uh, let me just go on the documentation here you can see you want to paste this much code just copy this here and paste inside this after that let's see what i want to do go on the index.css file and just paste these things copy this here and go on the index.css here and in the top section i will paste this now this much done now again i want to start our react tab go on the command here just write npm start now in the pre this previous one i will close this and here let me just drag and now see our react app is done let me just see css is working or not go on the app.js file uh, here i can just give the convert this in the form of a do tag here i give the background color class name bg red and it will be the 500 set will be 500 let me just see yeah see now our uh, tailwind is working here go on the src folder and create one folder inside this src component and inside component folder create another file which will be the name will be the header dot js and i here i just type rafce rafce and this is a v, uh, vs code extension i was uses go if you want to use go on the extension section and here just type es7 and it will be give the various yeah i use the es7 uh, react redux uh, and react native is spinning this uh, extension i was uses you want to use it you can install this and now i uh, i want to this header component i want to import this in app.js file here uh, let me just import this header now let me just see in the browser yeah here you can see header will be display and uh, now let's uh, i want to make our first part and here 
go on the header here I want to give the let me just here and opt out CSS let me remove this background color first of all yeah now nothing will be display and go here header.js first of all I want to give, uh, make uh, this will be the for the desktop version and tablet version here I just type uh, desktop and after that mobile version here let me just give the comment and here I use the header or I can directly give this uh, div tag in the form of a header after that here I can give div class name I will add later and inside this first of all uh, in the left panel I give the logo let me just give this div class name and here I will add a letter inside this img src and inside src center src we give the path of the our logo and yeah and let me just import our logo uh, first of all I want to add the one file uh, all the images let me just go on the my desktop here you can see in the assist and all these folder will be available and the logo also this logo I was using and let me just uh, add this file in our vs code and let me just uh, collapse this here let me just drag this in the src now here you can see in the src folder one folder is assist and inside the multiple images will be available for your referencing purpose for now at the last moment we will delete much more images for your re referencing I was added this all the data is fetched from the mongodb don't worry now here uh, in the uh, assist folder let me just find a logo yeah here this logo let me just import this logo in header import logo from uh, let me just go on the sc folder inside this logo dot png and let me just give this path here and now see here you can see our logo will be display and now I want to give our header and uh, let me just give the first of all our header will be fixed and fix and after that I want to give the shadow AMD shadow little bit more and its width will be full yeah now see it taking full width and its height will be approximately 1616 uh, let me just see how much yeah it will be perfect and let's uh, make our logo a little bit small and for now here I want to go here I give the class name uh, width will be full and yeah and after that its parent I will give the its width will be approximately uh, or I give the this height full not a width height will be full and its width will be uh, max height will be approximately I give the h dot full uh, or I can give the h will be approximately 1 4 and yeah it will be little bit more small 12 pixel yeah now it will be fine and in the left side and right side both side I want to give the little bit padding for that here in this I give the or I can give the in the header section here and this will be px from the padding from the left and right it will be approximately uh, I give the for the mobile version 2 and in the desktop version I give the px will be 4 see here little bit space and now I want to make this uh, a logo in the center for that here I can give the uh, here uh, let me just give the flags item center and 
height will be full yeah now see our logo will be center this uh, left panel is done and uh, I want to add one more things uh, when I just click on this logo it will be go on the this URL for that I want to set uh, react router and uh, also changing the page for that let me just do this also go on the here terminal section and here I want to open new terminal first of all I want to go on the front end folder after that here npm I or you can write uh, install react router dom and press enter now this installation is done let me just go on the uh, in index.js file here and here I want to import import create browser router after that create routes from elements after that routes and router provider uh, this uh, four things uh, want to import from the react router dom after that here I want to create one variable const router and here create browser router after that uh, inside this create routes from element and inside this I create uh, routes and it will be the path will be for now home page and uh, root folder will be the app app component yeah now this will be done and let me just close this inside this i will give the uh, another route first of all i want to set this for that let me remove this sticky mode all this and here i can give the router provider and pass a props router and inside this router props I want to give this variable name router if you want to give the another name you can give by your own but here I give the for most uses that's why and this path will be set and in the our react app nothing will be reflected no change will be reflected now go on the header section here I use the let me just uh, cut this again and here I use the link and here give the two it will be the our um, home page inside this I paste this one and why this will be giving the error okay I want to import this for that uh, I can in the VS code editor yeah now see it will be imported a link from the react router DOM and let me just see again okay now see now let me just go uh, create our left uh, right panel for in the right panel I want to display the profile and uh, add to cart uh, for this uh, let me just go on the browser in here react icons after that here go on the just copy this section go here here I want to paste this now this will be done and uh, let me just search uh, user and which icon is perfect let me just see I think uh, this one or any other yeah this one will be perfect let me just copy and uh, after this link tag I want to go here here I will give the due uh, class name after edit inside this first of all we give the now bar navigation bar and here I will create a another uh, div tag and inside this first will be the uh, icon uh, profile icon let me just paste this and I this icon I want to import also let me just copy this and here come import by user alt from react icons and give the slash and uh, this icon first two letter represent the which library you want to import this uh, 
the icons uh, this EFA let me just give the EFA and this error will be gone and let me just go on the browser in here see this user icon is display and I want to add one more which will be the display the U card and uh, I think this one perfect let me just go here and I can just copy this one or here do class name I will add later yeah now I want to import this you can imp if you are using the co VS code editor you can do just here click and delete one of the letter after that press and or you can do the control shift then also this suggestion will be done and click here okay uh, here click okay this will be not uh, I think for now not working then I can import from here let me just copy this again from react icons slash bs now let me see yeah this two icon uh, add to card and user this both are display and now i want to give the this whole things in the left center for that uh, here i give the justify content will be space between now see our logo will be here and icon will be here and this logo is little bit big uh, let me just little bit give the small height will be 10 yeah now see our logo is perfect for now and this part uh, let me just add the link and this here I use the link and this two will be the first one will be the direct home page and and second one will be the menu here I can give the menu and third one will be the about here I can give the about and last one will be the contact and here I give the contact and here you can see all this menu will display and I want to all uh, this menu and this icon in the single row for here I can give the flags items center yeah now see it's in between that I want to give the like uh, this navigation and this icon between the gap for here I use the gap it will be 2 let me just see I think I want to give the 3 4 yeah it will be uh, fine for now and in the this way by default for the mobile version let me just see mobile version it will be okay it gap will be perfect in the mobile version now I will give the desktop version for that EMD it will be approximately I think uh, mm, I give the gap will be 7 yeah now this icon is, is small let me just make the big I want to click here press alt click here and here uh, first of all I want to increase this text size to Excel uh, yeah this will be done and uh, this part I want to change the color ok BG slat and this color will be 600 uh, ok I was given the BG I want to give the text now it will be perfect as I am like and uh, in I also I want to give the in between uh, this menu uh, for that uh, this navigation I will give the first of all flags and after that I give the gap will be approximately 4 and in the mobile version it gap will be the approximately 7 uh, yeah 7 and this tag size is also I will increase for the desktop uh, mobile version it will be base but in the desktop version tag size will be little bit more I give the about this CLG yeah 
now see our this menu will be done and uh, I was not created uh, all these pages that's why this error is coming and let me just uh, create these pages uh, first of all this home page for that I will go on the here create a one folder in the SRC page and inside the these pages create one file uh, first of all home dot js and rafce and second one will be the uh, menu dot js and third one will be the about dot js and fourth one will be the contact contact dot js and rafce in the all the pages and yeah here rafce ok and uh, here rafce this part will be done and uh, uh, I want to also make this all route for that index.js here first of all I want to give the routes index element first of all will be the home page yeah and close this and second one will be the uh, I will this path will be menu and element here I uh, import the menu component and let me just give yeah now I have to close this after that I want to give the next one which will be about element and it will be the component about and again here crash last one will be the last route route path here I give the contact element and it will be the contact close this one why this error is coming ok here I was not given let me just go ok here you can see in the top side uh, all things will be changing but our data will be not be display uh, let me just give the in the app.js file uh, here below I will create another tag main and inside this I use the outlet which is from the react router dom here you can see now let me just see here you can see when I just click all this menu here you can see this display the menu all, all this will be display here uh, our page will be here because I was given the this uh, header will be static and for now here in the main section I will add uh, padding from the top side it will be approximately 16 pixel now see and one things more in the header component where is uh, header component here I will give the J index will be approximately 50 now see when I click home it will display home page and here you can see this route is also changing and about us context all these pages are changing now let's go on first of all here in the card section display the number of the item will be added for that uh, here I will go in the card here I will create due class name and here absolute and uh, let me just see how uh, here uh, its parent tag uh, I will give the position uh, relative and inside this absolute tag I will give the top will be 0 right will be 0 now let me just see again here you can see our 0 will be display here let me first of all change this text color will be white uh, ok it will be display here and its background color will be I will give the red uh, 500 and uh, its uh, height will be approximately 
uh, 16 pixel or oh, let me give the h4 uh, yeah this will be perfect and text size will be uh, very small excess mm, little bit more I give the SM yeah and in between that give the padding will be 1 and uh, padding 1 will be not be perfect yeah now I I want to give the base let me just see yeah base will be perfect and text will be center uh, center and I also give the width let me just add this width will be h4 w4 sorry and now it will be our text will be not be in the center let me give the rounded full and uh, what is happening m will be 0 yeah. m will be 0 and our is outside this uh, let me what is happening padding is also 0 and now I will give the tax uh, size will be SM yeah now see it will be display inside this and I will do this will be a little bit above and uh, from the top and right one for that I want to go where is this top I will give the uh, 3 minus the minus top 3 and no no I will give 2 yeah 2 will be perfect and little bit right I want to give the minus right also uh, right minus right 1 and 2 will be more yeah now I think 1 will be perfect and little bit down yeah now it will be perfect uh, look like this and let's go on the make our login page when I just click on the, this icon and this icon is not looking good I want to give the little bit border for that here uh, this uh, class name uh, here so let me just make a one parent tag it's uh, due class name and inside this I will add this icon yeah and this uh, first of all I will get the border let me just see how it will be looking uh, border will be 2 border solid border color will be I will give the slate 900 uh, 700 yes see it will be more I think I want to give 600 yeah and in between that I want to give the padding will be 1 yeah and this border will be rounded full and I will give padding little bit more to no one will be perfect our tag size will be little bit small and now I want to increase padding no, no one will be perfect yeah now our uh, this icon is I think not look good let me just change user and uh, I think this will be perfect for me just uh, click here and just copy and here I want to paste this here and now I want to import this icon here I can paste and here I will give the HI and now I want to remove this border uh, this border and this border this border this border now let me just see again yeah this icon will is small I will give the 2 XL 
cut this here here I will paste this 3xl yeah now it will be perfectly our icon will be display here and yeah now when I was go on the this icon let me just see anything is missing I was no nothing when I was go on this icon uh, our mouse cursor will be changing for that here uh, this icon I will give the cursor will be pointer see now our mouse cursor will be changed and when I was hover then here display the uh, this add one product and login one and for that uh, here I will come here give the div class name I will add a letter inside this I want to display two section first one will be the new product and second one will be the logout log uh, sorry I will use p tag log uh, login logout like this types of a yeah login mm, yeah it will be not display when I will click here then it will be display and for that I want to give this position will be absolute yeah now uh, one things I want to add in this both class name white space non wrap and here I will add right will be 0 and here and right will be 2 not 0 yeah after that uh, I want to make one card this background color let me just give the bg white uh, bg white yeah yeah and it will be py will be two three two no, where is two yeah and px will be two yeah and give the shadow and also drop shadow md and this will be perfect and when I just click here then this will be display and uh, when our mouse cursor is from here and here uh, it, our cursor will be changed for that cursor pointer see it will be now display and uh, I want to when I just click on this profile section then this will be display uh, for that uh, here in the header I will make a one use state and uh, so uh, so menu set so menu and use state after that this will be the boolean by default I don't want to display for that just copy this and where is here I will come and make a curly bracket inside I want to paste this and use the uh, this and operator and just cut this here and here paste this uh, let me just see one more and let's format also this press the shift alt f for the formatting purpose I use a prettier for the uh, extension for formatting purpose you can use this on the extension section here just type uh, prettier uh, why this will be taking some time yeah here this prettier you can inst uh, install this uh, extension and you can directly press uh, shift alt f automatically it will be formatting and let me just show see it will be not display but I, when I just click on this icon then it will be I want to display for that uh, just go on the this uh, here I will make one function so handle handle so menu and it will be the 
after that I use the set so state menu and give the previous value will be inverse of this now here see if this will be the uh, false then this function will be called it will be turned in this value into the true and the if this will be the true this use is uh, it means this use state will be true then it will be turn this function into false like that I want to copy this function name and uh, go where is icon here when I just click this icon on click then it will be gone see when I just click it will be display and again click it will be gone like that uh, one more function when I just click on the any of this menu also I want to not to display this menu uh, for that I can add this copy this here or I can add here and let me remove first this here I refresh this page click here and when I just click this login see it will be automatically gone and our page will be changing like that this type of will be working properly and now uh, this will be done let's uh, make our login page and here I want to go and where is pages section go a little bit top ok this too much file is open let me just close all this file uh, yeah and this will be the bottom section and where is pages here I want to create one page for the login dot js RAFCE and uh, I want to add this in the route where is route uh, index.js here I will give this route will be the login and here I want to import this component uh, why this will be I think I was missed something yeah I was given the small letter if uh, that's why let me just change this uh, capital uh, here I will give the login login and now I want to go index.js here I will import this login and close this yeah and uh, go on the header component and this I was added this here I want to convert this in the form of a now link and just select this and press uh, I can use the link to will be the login and here I want to also close this uh, link and this one also just see this uh, click here okay what this it will be go on the contact why uh, when I just click uh, link let me go back refresh this page and when I just click this login it will be go on the above okay the path will be not be changing uh, for that okay new product uh, I will add this uh, in, in the login section and uh, go on the index.js here I was added the login yeah then why it will be not be working when I just click then it will be uh, why this are happening ok this one uh, handle so menu link uh, ok here I was not added the two I will add this uh, new product and just copy this and make uh, this route also go here and just copy this and this new product page also I will go on the projects page folder and inside this I create a new will be like a new product a new product dot js rafce after that uh, index.js i will um, import this uh, new product component 
new product component and now let me just see when I just click this ok it will be new product ok ok this uh, new product and login will be in the single uh, line I want to make in the two for that here uh, I will given not given flex flex call yeah now see when I just click login it will dis display the login page and again new product yeah see our here page also changing and here out also changing now first of all I want to make a sign up page after the login page uh, let me just go here create a sign in oh, sorry sign up dot js rafce and I want to go where 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 index.js file here I want to set the route sign up and here I want to give the component name sign up now uh, I will change here because I uh, uh, anywhere I was not given the sign in uh, link let me just see here sign up now see here display the pages now in the first of all we design this go on the sign up pages here uh, let me just do create uh, one div tag giving the class name and it will be inside this it's a uh, this uh, background color I want to give the some color uh, let me just go on the index dot uh, where is Mm, app.js this outlet I will give the its uh, background color will be bg uh, slate uh, it will be the 100 by default I want to give the ok why uh, here you can see it will be also taking this uh, background color let me just change this for that uh, I will go on the header component and uh, here I will give this background color will be BG uh, white ok I was uh, let me just see yeah now see our background color will be black and here you can see uh, this uh, I was given the background color but it will be not taking the full width of the screen uh, for that I want to do uh, go on the where where I want to go uh, where in the menu section and sorry app.js section and here I will give the minimum width will be uh, approximately I want to give the calc and here I give the 100 vh and uh, yeah minimum width will be 100 vh ok it will be not be taking and why it will be not taking I want to give the height not a vh yeah now see our uh, body will be taking full uh, width but uh, yeah if minimum width will be taking for now let's uh, go on here let's go on the making the our sign up page let me just give sign up yeah here and go on the sign up compo uh, pages this one here I will give the uh, its max width first of all I want to give the width will be full and its max width will be uh, I want to give approximately MD yeah this one and this background color I want to give the white and uh, here I will get the margin will be auto now let me just see where ok here I will add the sign up heading will be h1 and give the sign up now let me just see where it will be display here and uh, I want to little bit small uh, for that uh, I want to change this in the form of ASM yeah it will be perfect and I want to give the little bit space from the top uh, this here for that I can give the padding will be 
by default uh, 2 in the mobile version and in the desktop version uh, I think 3 will be perfect and in the desktop version it will be the approximately 4 MD M uh, padding 4 yeah now it will be perfect and uh, let me just uh, make this sign up in the center and here I will give this text will align will be center class name text align will be center now let me see and text size yeah. text will be 2 excel yeah sign up and this font will be bold or we can do instead of using this sign up uh, uh, tax name we can do one thing here let me just comment this for now I will add here one images do tag and here inside IMG ESRC and here yeah like that and uh, let me just import the one images from the SS folder which will be the uh, very very let me just see login animation here uh, where is login animation here and this uh, uh, gfg I will, uh, gifa i want to add here let me just import this import sign up uh, or we can get sign login sign up image from I want to assist folder inside this uh, let me just uh, which name where is uh, login 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 yell yell here and I want to copy the this file name just copy this here and go on the sign up page and here I want to paste this and add GIF and just copy this path here I want to paste this and why this error is coming ok I was here giving the slash I want to give the dot now let me just see here see this uh, gfg is display but it will be too much big uh, I will give this uh, uh, max uh, class w will be width uh, ok W full width and its parent I want to give approximately 16 pixel let me just see uh, yeah 16 pixel is perfect little bit more I think 20 and uh, the all uh, this content will be in the center for that uh, uh, its parent I will give the flex justify content center and uh, flex direction column then I want to change here items centers yeah now uh, our it will be center and here I want to add uh, by default uh, it will be padding will be uh, 4 let me just see and now I want to make uh, this will be then the rounded uh, circle uh, first of all I want to give the overflow will be hidden and rounded full yeah and uh, yeah this rounded full and give the shadow drop shadow md yeah this will be drop shadow if I will give the shadow it will be taking little bit more yeah it will perfect and let me just create another field like I want to create a form inside this I give the label and this HTML first of all first name name and uh, input tag input type is called to text 
after that I will give the ID will be first name and also I want to add the name this name for the use state uh, when I was make don't worry and here uh, anything I will give the class name and it will be the full width and its BG uh, background color will be uh, slightly 6500 let me just see okay I want to first of all close this let me just see uh, it will be more I will give the 200 yeah 200 is perfect and inside this I will give the padding it will be 1 uh, 1 not 2 1 will be perfect in the uh, x axis it will be 2 in the y axis I will give the 2 uh, sorry in the y axis I will give the 1 in the x axis it will be 1 now yeah and I was given uh, much more padding let me reduce this here I want to give the only 2 and it will be not taking full width let me just give the full yeah and now here I want to give the 4 yeah it will be perfect and this input box little bit rounded and uh, now I want to give the rounded and uh, this label and this input box little bit gap and uh, for that in this label I will add the class margin from the bottom side it will be 1 uh, ok it will be not be taking I want to add in the input tag uh, here I will add the input margin from the top side uh, sorry margin from the top side it will be 1 yeah now see little bit gap is coming and this first name and this icon little bit gap in between them also uh, for that in the uh, form tag I will give the py padding from the y axis it will be 2 or little bit 3 yeah now it will be perfect and now I will go next section next field which will be the our let me just go here label html for last name and here I will give the last name all things are same let me just copy this uh, input one and copy this here and here I want to paste uh, I want to change uh, like a id here and this name and everything is by default all things are same and here you can see it will be display but in the this input bottom side in between them little bit space for that uh, I will uh, add one more uh, margin from the bottom side it will be 2 see and now I want to view this one will be here yeah and now again I want to add uh, email label HTML for email and give the email after that input type is called to email and I will give the ID will be email name will be email and class name will be exactly same just copy this here and paste here and close this input now see email field will be display here now again confirm password and confirm password this both things first of all we create a label and HTML4 and this will be the password and uh, here I want to give the password and below this input type equal to uh, password and id will be password and after that give the name will be password and I want to add uh, this same class name 
just copy this here here I want to paste this in between little bit space just close this one and now let me just see here see this password is coming uh, one more things I want to add in that uh, here I was type and see our password is uh, not I am able to see uh, if user want to see the this password for that here I want to add one button when I was user will be click then this uh, password will be, will be so for that uh, I want to add here hide and show icons for that here react icon let me just search uh, first of all I want to show just copy this one this show icon and I will create a here uh, where 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 in the below section I uh, span tag and inside this I will paste this uh, and uh, make sure that you want to also import this icon let me just go on the top section here I will give the import BISO from react icons slash bi now here you can see this i icon will display and for the ID purpose and here this icon just copy this and after that I will add this icon also I want to import this icon this is the same library then I can paste here and let me just see here see this icon but I want to like not here inside this input uh, for that I will make here another div tag and yeah this div tag and wrap this all this com content inside this and here this span is not uh, I want to make a span tag yeah span tag and let me just see now I will do this div tag class name flex yeah this will be coming in a single and here I will uh, what I want to do here this uh, px and py just cut here and paste inside this div tag uh, where is here and yeah it will be coming now and uh, after that I will do um, what this background color is also cut copy this here and paste inside this here now it will be like that and this rounded also just cut here and paste inside this and uh, this margin from the top and bottom side cut here paste inside this ok width will be perfect and this will be perfect and now uh, this uh, border will be display I want to give the none in the input border none outline none when I just click see it will be ok but here all this uh, display the this outline but here it will not be display outline then it will be not looking good uh, we can change uh, everywhere I think I want to change the, this outline uh, for that let me just go on the first this first name and here I will do this here give the focus uh, what will be the focus within it outline or I can give the outline will be uh, outline color outline color will be outline color will be red and it will be 5 let me just see see when I just click this first name it will outline color will be changed but I think uh, this red will be not I want to give the blue yeah see when I just click here it will be color change but uh, if I do this 4 3 yeah now it will be perfect like that and I can do one thing just copy this uh, uh, class name and paste here and this one also and 
in the forget password in this due tag yeah and now when i just paste okay it will be here 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 but here is not displaying now why let me just see focus within outline color okay outline is not display i want to change this in the form of a border it will be not be display let me just give the outline and by default i was not given the outline let me just give the outline yeah now see it will be displaying but this outline is too much uh, big i want to give the little bit small yeah it will be perfectly see and this outline is too much big don't don't worry it will be gone first of all i want to make our this uh, show and hide icon and i will give this show and hide icon will be here giving the class name it will be changed into flex and giving the text size will be excel yeah excel will be perfect and uh, why this will be mm, i want to display only one for that here i will make a one another use state const so password pwd or i can directly write so password and set so password after that here i will give the huge state it will be the uh, by default i want to not to be display and here i will make the one function const handle uh, so password and it will be the arrow function here i will give inside this i will change this set so password previous value will be reverse of this return and just copy this uh, handle so password and i will paste this in this span tag uh, here on click paste inside this and here i will use this uh, so password I want to go here. Here I want make a curly bracket, and here also. After that, here just give the ternary operator in between them. I will give the this dot. Now let me just show. See when I was click, it will be like that. But here our password will be not be changing, not be so. For that, uh, this so password I want to go where where in this input type type is equal to here i will paste this and use the ternary operator here i will give the uh, text when this will be uh, so password will be false then it will be in the form of a password type will be will be equal to the password when this password so password will be the true then it will be converted in the form of a text like that let me just show you again here see when i see when i click it will be so and this i icon when i mouse cursor also changing uh, for this span tag here i will add the cursor will be pointer and uh, see when i click it will be changing like that and yeah it will be done this part and also confirm password like that and for that i want to copy from here to here and paste here here i will change the let me just copy uh, select this and here or i can do here before that confirm password just copy this here and where is id input type is equal to id here i will change this 
and uh, this name also and uh, also I would make another this same like this use state just uh, dra uh, drag and drop here I will give the uh, just select this and confirm password and like that it will be done because uh, because I was make here you can see here I was type and click here one time it will be uh, reflected in the both section both this input act that's why I will I was make this and here I want to create another function handle confirm handle so confirm password and use the arrow function and just copy this here here I want to paste this preview uh, previous value and just copy this function and go in the below section in this confirm here I want to also change this confirm and the very 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 this function and now I will just copy this part and uh, here and one more thing this is pen tag and yeah okay this outline is also display but uh, this outline display when I was uh, click in this for that uh, where I was edit the class outline will be directly but I want to when I was focus then focus within yeah like that let me just see yeah it will be gone just copy this here here I will paste this okay it will not be gone why I was paste some wrong way yeah I, I was not deleted this one and yeah, when I just click okay okay now this part will be done and below this I want to make a one button submit button and this form tag here I will give the button and this will be the sign up and this sign up button let me just create this sign up giving the class name uh, this max width will be approximately 100 uh, 120 pixel and width will be full let me just see and first of all I want to give the background color it's red 500 uh, yeah 500 uh, yeah 500 is perfect or 6 500 is perfect and when I was hover in this button then it color will be also change 600 said see when I was hover it color will be change and our mouse cursor will be also change cursor will be in the form of a pointer yeah and this will be in the center okay here I was given the max oh, why this will be not taking width uh, will be here and uh, it will be why this not taking the width uh, max will be 150 pixel and I want to make this in the center uh, for that I will give the margin M will be auto why it will be not coming in the center ok here I was given the uh, width will be full padding will be this and I want to add one more flex and flex column flex column yeah now it will be coming in the center and now I will give this button uh, text, I, uh, text color will be white and text size will be excel and this font will be font will be 
medium let me just see and text will be center and the padding from the y axis will be 1 and rounded and rounded I think full yeah rounded full and from the top side this in between them little bit space for that margin from the top side it will be approximately 4 empty 4 yeah it will be done and below this I want to add one more if uh, user has already re registered then it will be go on the login page and I will add this here uh, here this form tag uh, I will get this here uh, already already have account and I will use this here link tag uh, link and this will be like that and I will give this go on the login and here I will give the page will be the login here it will be uh, display in this this part but I want to display in the left panel for that I will give this text will be giving the class name text will be left side uh, white will be coming in the center let me just see I was given the flags and ok its parent I was given the justice items will be center and it will be oh, for that I will give this uh, remove the items center and it will be coming here and this icon will be in the left panel then I can do this center for here I will get the flags item will be center ok I will add uh, margin auto yeah now it will be done and this tag size is too much let me just reduce this size I will give this tags will be SM mm, SM yeah and it will be SM and this login I want to change the color I think it will be not be looking good yeah this base one yes um, and in the top side little bit space margin from the top or I can do margin from the top will be uh, 3 yeah like that and uh, uh, 3 is more we can do two and this login text I want to change this color for that here I will come at the class name and this will be the uh, text color will be the red uh, 600 or I will give the 500 yeah and underline also underline yeah see it will be our sign up page will be done this front end part and uh, here when user will be typed then also this value will be uh, stored somewhere for getting this value for that uh, uh, just go here where where here, here I will make a, uh, not here here const and it will be give, giving the data and set data after that here I will give this uh, use state and inside this I will create a object this will be the first name and yeah and after that I will give the last name and email and uh, 
what is next password and the last one is a confirm password yeah our uh, all this field is done and uh, let me just add all this value uh, uh, here let me just go here first of all in this input I will add a uh, this one I will add a value will be data dot first name and uh, yeah. or we can just follow first of all format this for the formatting person press the shift alt f and it will be automatically formatted and uh, okay here I will add the this first name uh, data dot first name and uh, name is already added here first name this and this first name is similar and one more things on change method I will add on on change uh, this method will be handle uh, on change let me just create this method also because every time it error, error error will be coming that's why here I will give the const paste this here and here okay yeah now it will be done and let me add uh, other input also for that uh, this last name I will go here here first of all add the value will be data dot last name why this are happening last name and uh, on change method it will be handle on change make sure that your value uh, name and this uh, value uh, property name this data property last name which will be similar because uh, when i was uh, calling this handle on change this name and this value will be this name will be key name and this value will be uh, this uh, data that's why this name will be similar to this prop, uh, property last name and now let me just go on the next part this will be the email here I will create a value data dot email why are this are happening email on change and handle on change method let me just go on the next part this will password here I will give the value data dot password what happening password and uh, on now here uh, on change after that I give the handle on change and then last one will be here where 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 this confirm password input one first of all value data dot confirm password confirm password and uh, this prop key name and this name will be similar that's why I will paste this here and here on change and data dot uh, sorry here I want to give the handle handle on change and let me just see this here this one and this one is similar here this one will be similar yeah now let me just see every uh, all this uh, data is inserted or not before that I want to console this data here I will console dot log data now let's go on the browser and open the inspect uh, uh, here I will go uh, why this error coming first of all I will refresh this okay button tag unrecognized browser okay let me just see uh, remove this error uh, here button it will be type equal to submit Uh, button is unrecognized if you render this browser start it name uh, 
अपर केस ओके हियर आई वाज नॉट राइट बटन प्रॉपरली दैट्स व्हाई लेट मी जस्ट गिव डबल टी yeah and no need of this type you can by default when you write bottom inside the form tag automatically here i did the type equal to, equal to submit let me remove this and refresh this page yeah and here i was type uh, first name will be the amit okay i am not able to type this uh, let me just see why this will okay here i was make the handle on change but uh, in this function is this handle on change i was not uh, given the value let me just give this here e and const i will extract this name and value from e dot target and i will insert it in the all this field inside this set data just copy this here and here i will paste this here i will give the uh, this and return in the form of a object first of all i want to uh, store the previous value also for that here i use the spread operator and after that i will give the name key name will be name and value yeah now it will be done let me just see refresh this page and here i will type uh, amit see this uh, here i was type the name and inside this uh data first name will be equal to the amit and when i just type last name uh see this last name and email and one to gmail.com and also this password i will give the 123456 anything and here also 123456789 like that and here i can see the password also now see our data will be done and when i just click on the sign up see our page will be refresh but i don't want to like that let me make another function for that at here i created a function const handle submit and here i will pass the arrow function and this function will be on uh, form this form i will give the on submit and inside this paste this and here handle submit i will pass a parameter e and here give the prevent prevent default yeah now let me see again when i was refresh this page see when i was type something and uh, uh click on the this sign up button see our page okay this will be mandatory when i was click this sign up uh, sign up button see our page will be uh, in this time not reference because here i was given the uh, prevent default it means that our page will be not be refresh and yeah this will be done and uh, i want to check uh, uh, all this data i want to check if uh, this uh, password Uh, this password and confirm password will be uh, similar or not and uh, this uh, field is mandatory also for that here i will create a if loop and uh, here uh, before that i want to extract const here i will give, give the first name uh, first name is mandatory last name is not and after that email is uh, definitely mandatory after that i will give the password and confirm password and after that i will give this uh, data extracted from this data and i will just copy this here here i will paste this and in between this uh, comma i will insert it uh, okay where is gone here in the place of this comma i will insert a and operator and here i will give the curly bracket inside this curly bracket after that uh, i will check uh, 
here I was given the because this password and confirm password is not empty that's why I was given like that now I will check this password and confirm password is equal or not for that I will give the password will be equal to the confirm password yeah like that then also I will uh, uh, all this data I want to send from the send to the server here I will give the uh, alert uh, success fully for now I will just write a success uh, if in here this password and this confirm password will be required then here give the for now I was just giving the alert uh, when I was make the backend then this data will be sent to the backend don't worry and if this password is not equal then here I will give the alert uh, alert will be like uh, I give the um, check okay password password and confirm password not equal like that if uh, this one uh, like uh, any first name email password confirm password any of this empty then here I will give the uh, uh, in the else condition I will give the alert will be uh, please enter please enter require field yeah, field fields now let me just see see re let me refresh first this page and see uh, all these are empty when I just click on the sign up button see it will give the alert please enter require field and uh, when I was just enter this and this this and this our confirm password and uh, th the password and confirm password is not equal then when I was click on this sign up see, uh, okay this email I was click this now see password and confirm password is not equal like that you can see click here and here you can see these both are actually not equal when these both are equal like a one two three and uh, here also one two three and uh, when I just click on this sign up see successful like this types of message will be generate uh, for our sign up page front end part is done now let's go on the login page and when I just click on the login okay it will be okay here I was not given the absolute routing let me just change this first uh, where I was to go on the sign up uh, where is sign up here and I will change this where below this uh, sign uh, link to here I want to add a slash now let me check again now first of all I want to refresh this and when I click this login see it will be go on the login page and I here when I click also go on the login page now let's design this uh, login page here login page and sign up page uh, actually all these are similar only one thing is uh, missing uh, one thing I want to delete in the login page like uh, this first name last name and this confirm password uh, I can do one thing uh, just copy the this sign up page this return statement all this let me just copy from return and go on the login page in the return section I will just paste this and uh, also I want to copy the all this function uh, from here to here where 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 here just copy this in the login section uh, where, where here I will paste this and uh, I want to import all this icon also for that uh, I will copy from here all this here copy this and go on the login and paste here now let me just see here see our uh, let me just go on the login page see our login page is exactly similar but uh, I will 
delete this uh, which things I want to delete first of all this first name and this input label let me just delete this first name and this last name also and email is remaining and uh, one more things which one this password is remaining and this confirm password let me just delete this confirm password also yeah and this sign up okay this label also and I want to change this button name will be login and uh, here I want to change the uh, here already instant of I will give the don't have don't have account then it will be go on the sign up page yeah sign up page and here I will give the sign up and let me just see yeah here you can see our sign up uh, login uh, like look like this here I will enter okay here email here password here sign up okay now this will be done and uh, I want to make uh, this login and I want to delete some field also first of all I want to delete uh, this confirm things let me just delete this confirm UG state and this con handle so confirm password also this handle on change is remaining and this will be here I will change this uh, first name uh, only email and password and here also I want to delete this here and uh, this password or email uh, no need of this else statement I will delete this and yeah is enter require field okay now everything is done and uh, let me just see when I just click successfully when this will be empty okay for now it will be done and uh, this part will be completed and uh, when I just click on the, the sign up button let me just enter some field like that and sign up okay this will be now then it will be uh, click here and here please uh, okay password is not equal here uh, successfully then it will be go on the login page for that uh, uh, here I will use the navigator hook from the react uh, router let me just import first of all this uh, in the sign up page where 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 uh, sign up page here I will here use import use navigator or I can directly look inside this use navigator and here I will make a const navigate use call to use navigate like that and just copy this and this will be when it will be successfully then it will be go on the login page yeah and let me just see again when I just click go on the login uh, sign up page when I was enter and uh, Amit at the gmail.com after that password one two three four one two three four and sign up successfully when I click see it will be go on the our login page now this uh, front end part is done now let's uh, go on the build our back end part uh, and one more things uh, I was forget it to add this uh, in the sign up page you uh, user have ability to upload its image also for that let me also do this part also 
uh, after that we go on the backend part and for the upload the image uh, this uh, sign up page here and this will be here I will go here here create another div tag uh, let me just create this div class name I will add later inside this uh, no problem I will just write uh, p tag it will be the upload and here you can see upload will be display here but uh, I want to in the above this for that here its parent I will give the position will be relative it means relative after that here I will give the absolute yeah and yeah it will be go above and giving the bottom will be zero for now and after that I will give the height will be 1 by 2 and giving the ba background color bg slat 500 and its width will be full and yeah its width and text will be center and yeah it will be coming and I think it will be one third yeah it will be coming like that now this text is too much upload class I will give this text size will be uh, ESM yeah and here I will give the padding will be 1 yeah padding will be 1 after that I will give the text uh, color will be white now when uh, user click on this uh, it will be uh, able to upload uh, its profile image and uh, for that uh, I will make uh, here uh, where we are here I can do outside I can do this or here this image mm. or I can do here also here I will make a label it will be the uh, label HTML HTML for profile image and here I will close this label and just cut this label here and paste below this inside this uh, I will create a input type is called to file and I will just wrap this and here I will give the ID same ID name which I was given the, this uh, label because when I was click on uh, click on this upload then it will be open the file things that's why and where where and this file just copy copy this and paste here and I can do one things uh, when I just click see it will be open this file when I just click see it will be open but uh, it will be go on the above why and this uh, class name I will add uh, hidden okay now see when I just click it will be open and uh, uh, one things I want to make one more uh, when I was our cursor will be from this image our cursor pointer will be changed and for that here I will give the cursor pointer see okay okay here also not here cursor pointer this upload one cursor pointer see when I just go here click here it will be open and user have ability to upload its image uh, first of all uh, like that here I will upload this uh, random image see uh, but here I am not able to see this image for that uh, let me just create here one more function uh, before this or 
before this handle submit here I will create uh, const handle upload profile image and let me just give this uh, here I will pass a parameter uh, files and now let me just see console.log files and let me just see this uh, handle upload profile image this function I will call when I was click on this uh, input for that here I will give the on change and paste this let me just see and I was console log this yeah open the inspect console and refresh this page when I was click this and upload this image see it will be giving me this uh, all this but uh, I will want to this file here uh, where we are very here I will give the instead of file I will give e and here I will give the e dot target dot uh, file I want to file not a value file will be zero uh, I think here I want to give the files and now let me just see one more go on here refresh this page when I just click upload this image see here I given the file name and date of modification and type uh, name of the file and size of the file and which format I think this I was uploaded the video format that's why this will be uh, display you have uh, want to change this then I kill change this here where is input here I will give the here you can give the accept image slash only you want to accept the image not a video for that let me just go again and refresh this page when I just click this and here automatically uh, here filter by images when I just click this see now it will be giving the type will image.png like that now I want to also display this image here uh, in this box which image user have uploaded for that we want to convert uh, this image into base 64 let's uh, here I will create uh, let me first of all create close all this file uh, this is too much and yeah here now this will be go bottom side and here let me just collapse this this component page only I want for now need a sign up page and here in this uh, component section uh, I will uh, reset component and here I will create a here one folder in the SRC utility yeah inside this I will create one f uh, file image image to base 64 dot js like this here I will give the uh, first of all function and I will give the same image to base 64 and inside this I will accept the file and here I will perform a after first of all we create a one const data name uh, variable name is reader after that we can use the new file readers and after that we can convert reader dot read as a data URL and inside this we can pass our file after that here I will check uh, this file will be converted in the form of a not converted or not for that we can use the promise here I will give the data and new promise and uh, promise take a two parameter resolve or reject and this will be the uh, call by function here I use the reader dot onload will be done or not 
if done then it will be give the result resolve dot result uh, re oh, sorry reader dot result this reader uh, this reader will be converted this our image into the base 64 non not if converted then return it uh, if not converted any error then we can use the reader dot on error and here I pass a parameter parameter error and uh, we can give the reject dot error and now I will return this uh, base 64 images conversion and here I will give the const uh, sorry here I will return this data and now I will e export this uh, function export image base 64 and just copy this here go on the my pages sign up and top section let's import this function and here I will paste this yeah this function is imported now just copy this function and go on the upload hand upload uh, profile image here I will this for pro this is a promise that's why I will use the asynchronous this function and here create another variable data and const data and wait and just use this function inside this I will pass uh, this file e.target.file and now let me just delete this for now and uh, let me just format this one and after that I will give const dot data uh, here I will check uh, which output is coming here just console log this now let me just see refresh this page and here I will click and here see I will select this images and click see uh, this too much uh, string format this data will be display now I uh, you can just copy this and you can paste on the image src section automatically this will be display and uh, for now I will do this uh, uh, where is data here this data I will set this in the uh, here uh, no field, uh, image field is not available let me add this image yeah like that now I can set this set data where I want to go handle upload handle upload handle here uh, set data and inside this I pass a parameter uh, previous value and return this data uh, with previous value here new keyword uh, image property will be added and this image pro property hold the this image just copy this here and here I will paste this and now uh, I will do this uh, here I will display this image which uh, has uploaded for that uh, here I will give the this images here I will give uh, let me just give the data dot image if uh, not available then it will be display the this uh, by default this image login sign up image if available then it will be display this image uh, here I will give this yeah like that now let me just see oh, what's the output is coming for that here let me refresh this page now here I will when I just click here and select this images okay here you can see uh, image is display and when I was select another image like this untitled design okay here you can see our image will be like this types of a not a proper circle uh, let me just see uh, here I was given the only width not a height let me also give the height will be full and here I want to add one more height will be full uh, sorry height will be 20 and let me just see now see it will be display in the form of a circle let me refresh when I select my images my image see it will be display and this upload will be uh, not looking little bit uh, transparent for that uh, 
uh, this bg slide i was given here i will add bg opacity it will be approximately i think 20 let me just see a uh, little bit more uh, see 50 yeah now see it will be a little bit transparent and when i just refresh see when i just click here and select my images profile image see it will be display now image upload upload here image upload uh, upload part is done now let's go on the backend side to make a our data and all this data will be stored on the mongodb for that here i will just uh, collapse all this here and uh, here this one now after that i will uh, here uh, first of all i want to create a new folder uh, before that i want to close this terminal and here create a new folder outside uh, this front end here root folder here i will give the uh, folder name will be backend and yeah now here i will add open new terminal first of all i want to go on the backend side and here i will give the npm init and this here ask me package name uh, by default this package name will be backend as like this one only i want to press enter 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 yeah now see in the backend uh, folder packet.json file it created now here packet.json is uh, has a uh, uh, file name is index.js is uh, our main file file and here let me just create this index.js yeah and in this uh, backend uh, we want to install the our making the uh, like a server for the express mongodb and course let me just install this npm i and here i give the first of all express and course and uh, for the connecting to the mongodb we use the mongoose or you can use any things you want to which here i use the mongoose let me just press enter now this installation is started it takes some time uh, yeah it will be done then i will back uh, let's uh, wait some time yeah now this uh, install uh, all this install here in, in the packet.json you can go and here you can in the dependency section you can see uh, course express and mongoose and i want to one more things for the continuous uh, uh, this file uh, i will change then again i want to run this like uh, node index.js like this type of for that if any changes will be done in the node.js for, for that automatically it will be reflected for that i use the nodemon here i want to also install this nodemon is a global dependency you can uh, if you have not installed in your browser then you can directly install this npm i nodemon and press enter and in the packet.json in the dependency here you can see this known one and in the script tag i will done uh, like uh, i will give the dev and here i will give node mon index.js and here i will give the comma after that uh, if this will be go on the production then it will be give the start and here node index.js and here i will give the comma and for the running this backend here i will only write uh, npm run dev see automatically our server will be done and here if any changes will be like uh, here i will give the console dot log and our backend directly here automatically reflected 
like that now let me first of all here I will uh, const express after that I will give the require uh, express in the string form after that uh, I went to const course uh, require I give the course after that I want to also mongodb mongoose instance let me give the require and inside this I give the mongoose yeah all things are done and uh, let me just make a API and uh, for now I will give app dot uh, let me just create a const and app it will be the express call this express and after that app dot use first of all I want to give the course uh, because uh, when I was using uh, some different uh, do URL from other that's why this error is coming that's why I was uses after that here app dot get our route will be display here here slash and here pass a callback function and in this callback function take it to uh, necessary to request and response after that like that and here I will send the response will be uh, server is running and this is API which get API with by default local hosts and now I want to make a port before that here uh, I will give the uh, const and port equal to process dot env dot port and here I will give this or uh, logic 8080 because I was uses if you deploy this uh, our your server then uh, sometime what happen in your uh, where you are deploying this uh, port number will be different that's why give this some error your server is not running that's why I was given this process dot env dot port because in the env folder there is already present port number then it will be captured and here I will give the app dot uh, listen where my server is running uh, here first argument is a port number here I give the port and a second will be the callback function I pass just this console dot log and here this server uh, server is running at port I give the port and it will be the here plus string and port variable this port variable now let me just go on the browser open new tab here I just write uh, local host 8080 now see our this server is running now our uh, API section this get API section is did now let's make another API and it will be the app dot post and this will be the user dot uh, I will give this slash user uh, dot uh, sign in or I can directly give the sign uh, sign up not a sign in first of all we make a sign up after that we can make a sign in now here callback function and here I will give the two parameter first one is a request and another will be will be the response and let me just see from the front end which data is coming request dot body and uh, for this uh, this URL is uh, let me just go on the front end side and src folder pages this is a sign up for that I want to go on the sign up page and where I was sending here this one and uh, this handle submit function inside this uh, this handle submit I want to convert in this will be asynchronous 
and here I use this const fetch data equal to the weight after that here I will give the fetch and inside this I will give the URL of the server uh, for uh, when I was deployed then uh, sometime much more time our server URL will be changed for that backend server URL will be changed uh, for that uh, I will do one things in the this uh, frontend folder in the root I will create a one file dot dot env and after that here I will give the react uh, this is a uh, convention in the react you, you use the env file with uh, prefix any string you want to use is uh, react underscore app equal to I give the server underscore domain and here I will give this server domain name is for now it will be the local host uh, which will be this let's copy this here here I will paste this now uh, let me just see this serv uh, server server domain name I will get from the src pages here let me just console log this first of all check outside this function here console console dot log and here process dot env dot uh, what is this let me just copy this from the env folder file just copy this and go on the sign up here I will paste this and let's go on the browser section here open the inspect and when I was go on the sign up see here giving the undefined not giving the URL uh, okay I think I want to run this our react app again and press the control C this terminal and press yes automatically our react app is installed now again inst start this npm start now here you can see in the browser uh, new uh, react page will be open new tab will be open and it will be take some time why it will be taking yeah now it will be done and go on the this profile login sign up uh, open this inspect and go on the console here you can see this HTTP localhost 8000 here will be display and uh, this uh, what is this a slash is coming I will to remove this slash I don't want to this or for now it's okay because our we, I can remove this because when I was to refresh this it will be no again I want to restart the server uh, react tab our just come, stop this and again I want to npm start now again I want to go on the here login sign up page and here let me just see here see now HTTP local words 8080 now this will be done and let me just close our uh, this one and here I will drop uh, and close this one here it will be coming now I can use this go on the sign up page and uh, here we are uh, this will be a little bit down and here I will use this process.env.server name 
uh, for using here I use the template string and just paste this here uh, before that I want to give the dollar and curly bracket inside this paste this after that I will use the what is the server endpoint let me just see this will be the sign up just copy this here and here I will paste the sign up and second parameter of this fetch this fetch will be the uh, object let me just give this and here uh, here I want to define uh, this method will be the post and uh, headers and header will be giving the content uh, type will be give the application slash json after that here body in this body uh, it will contain the data uh, which data is coming from the all this uh, okay here let me just show I, all this data coming from the, this first name last name email password like this types of a which is stored on the this uh, use state uh, which is this one this use state this data and let me just go here where is handle submit here I will go this data uh, first of all I will convert this in the stringify inside this I can directly give the data and after that uh, I will give the const and data it will be wait fetch data and convert this data in the form of a json json yeah now let me just console dot log data and uh, here uh, response will be printed for now I will uh, just uh, comment this side and this things and uh, navigation only successfully is not only for navigation and here response is also coming for that uh, in the server side I will give in the response will be first of all we see which data is coming mm, let me just go on the browser refresh this page and here I will give the Amit and last name will be the Yapti. after that email id Amit at the rail gmail dot com and password will be one two three four five six one two three four five six and uh, sign up click sign up okay what is it cannot access data before initialization uh, where is uh, giving the error sign up page okay this data is giving the uh, before initialization okay this data and this data is uh, same thing as collapse then I can uh, change this data uh, like uh, I can give the response data res res now let me just see again yeah now sign up again let me refresh this first again I want to enter all detail Amit Prajapti surname email ID and password one two three four five six one two three one two three four five six and press sign up and it will be take uh, go on the browser here you can see this will be coming undefined and why this will be coming undefined in server okay when some data is coming from the api then i want to convert this data in the form of a json uh, for that here app dot use inside this express dot json and now let me just check again when i just click here and again go here you can see uh, all this data is coming like a first name last name email id password and confirm password only image is not coming okay let's uh, close this now for now and here first of all i will upload the image see image and here first name last name 
email id and password 123456 123456 and click on the sign up and let me just go on the here here give the error the error uh, let me just see here giving the request entity too large it's mean that uh, which i was sending the data this data is approximately more than 1 mb or 2 mb for that uh, yeah, here where i was given the json yeah express dot json here i will uh, just give the limit and inside this we give the limit approximately 10 mb uh, we can send the data approximately 10 mb let me just see one again and uh, all these are done and just sign up again go on the here and let me see now see here uh, we got data like uh, amit first name last name and email id password and this image also now uh, we are getting this data from server now this data i want to store in the mongodb for that uh, let's go on the browser and here uh, just type uh, mongodb and uh, okay mongodb.com i was type much more things yeah mongodb.com now go on the sign in uh, if you ha already created this account uh, then directly you can enter your email address if you do not have uh, this mongodb account just go on the sign up here and just enter your email id name last name and password and company name uh, this is optional and click here accept this ac uh, this one agreement and after that sign up uh, yeah but here i have already account my mongodb atlas and now just go on the login section here i will enter the email id here i enter the my email id and uh, yeah after that uh, click on the next and after that it will be ask the password here i will enter my password and this and click on the login please provide a valid email id okay or password okay i think some mistake let me just see uh, yeah i was written before that i was given the wrong password that's why this were happening yeah let me just see yeah i was coming the mongodb atlas uh, this dashboard now after that first of all i want to create my own database uh, here i was created a uh, multiple things but uh, you can create uh, by your own by default i think uh, in your project this no one will be created yeah and uh, if you want to new organization just click here view all organization and here create a new organization here i will give the uh, amit store e-commerce of uh, name of this organization and click next after that here I give the uh, member is uh, this create organization like that here I will give the uh, I will give and uh, I think uh, by default which email ID is have that's one okay and now click on the create organization this is optional field yeah now here you can see this here display the Amit store e-commerce now after that we create uh, our database for that uh, here uh, create a new project here click on the new project after that give the project name will be here i give the e-commerce after that here give the next and here by default he uh, display the your email id and now let's uh, create this project yeah now our project is created now let's build the our database here click on the build a database and here i use the this free version click this free version and click create after that here is choice uh, this free one and here uh, no choice anything 
if you want to cho uh, choice your area you can choice it and here make sure that you select the AWS and after that this uh, here my location in Mumbai that's why I was selected after that go and this cluster by default all things ok in the last section I will change here name will be Amit store e-commerce and create a cluster click on this and make sure here check the this is a free version and create this and here ask some uh, uh, authentication me yeah, motorbike cycle now this will be done and yeah now here ask me the username and password make sure that which username you are entering uh, you are remember because in our project uh, this username and password will be used here I give the Amit and password will be the Amit at the rate 1 2 3 like that if you want to see then here click see I was given the this Amit at the rate 1 2 3 but I will not give the at the rate 1 2 3 only Amit 1 2 3 and uh, we want to store this part was uh, where we are in the backend side here I was created the env file no let's create this backend folder uh, on dot env file and inside this env file we give the mongo all this will be in the capital mongo db uh, username yeah and let me just copy this username will be Amit let me just paste this and this password will be the just copy this here and here I will give the uh, mongo db password it will be equal to this yeah yeah this one here I was stored now let's uh, click on the create user and he user will be created here you can see uh, na a name a username and this password and after that go next part and here just write uh, 0 0 comma 0 comma because I want to apply everywhere I can use this IP, uh, mongodb atlas and create entity after that click on the finish and close this yeah congratulations on setting up access rule and click on the go to dash database it's uh, take some time to create your database yeah now see here our database will be created and in the browse collection you can see let me just click this and here click uh, because in this time uh, no data is available there that's why here not seeing let me just go back and uh, uh, this uh, database I will connect with uh, our uh, node.js server for that click here connect and connect with uh, application after that here this URL will be display like here display the this URL and username and password will be which I was save in my uh, node.js server this one password I want to enter and uh, here by default this will be the test collection and just copy this here and go on the this uh, node.js server here I will paste this mongo db and here I will give the uh, url and here I will paste this or I will give the in the form of pasting then also ok but by default uh, this uh, env file in the string format now after that uh, we want to connect our uh, this node.js server with mongodb for that uh, just go on here and here uh, let me just add uh, some comment yeah, here I add the API and here mong mongo db 
connection yeah now a little bit of this yeah now first of all I want to connect this uh, which uh, MongoDB here I was uh, uh, require this mongoose let me just use this mongoose uh, mongoose dot connect and inside this we give the uh, what is the name of this my this env this url this mongodb url for using this in here i will give the let me just see first this will be printing or not for that uh, what is this process dot env uh, dot let me just copy this this mongodb url and come in the index.js here i will paste this and make sure that here in the env file here is password uh, here i want to change this password with this just amit123 and uh, after that here where is here this exclamatory mark before this I will add the collection name. Collection name will be the users. Users here, th here, or I will give the user like this. Now let me just go on the uh, where, 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 uh, where uh, in the index.js, and after that, let me just see this will be printing or not okay here mongodb crash why let me just see mongoose string is deprecated okay oh, then we can copy this and why this error is coming sticky query okay uh, let me just just copy this here and i will paste this in the google why this error is coming if some error is coming from your code you can directly google and here I will give the ok mongodb set query will be false let me just copy this here and here I will paste this mm, now see which error yeah mongodb url then uh, we can for now just copy this and paste here okay why this is coming okay here undefined coming because uh, I think this env file is not a uh, access this I want to run again server let me just close this server again and here give the npm run dev yeah now let me just see again it will be giving the undefined why it will be giving for now let's uh, comment this and let me just see here it will be giving the undefined and uh, here I was not installed the uh, in the backend side env config okay here I was not e install the dot env let me just install this first here close this server and here just type npm install dot env press enter after that in the packet.json you can see dot env will be added and let's go on the index.js and here in the top section uh, here i will give the const dot env equal to require uh, dot env dot config this file and let me run again server npm run dev and press enter and uh, now see here giving the mongodb url yeah now it will be fine let me just give this here and after that this connection i will pass uh, yeah after that giving the then promise if this will be connected then print the console dot log connected to database if some error is coming then 
let me watching uh, another line if some error is coming then I will catch here if some error is coming then here will be printed for that here console dot log and error here I will pass the parameter after that this data will be connected to the mongodb after that let's make the schema and here I will give the schema and for that const user schema and it will be the mongoose dot schema and here pass a parameter schema inside in the user first will be the uh, first name and I can copy from uh, uh, this sign up page and here where I was given in the top section just copy this section in the sign up page and go on the backend file index.js and here I will paste this and let me just uh, change this uh, this will be the string and this will be the also string email id will be the string but it will be also unique for that here I will give the type equal to string and here all this yes will be capital yeah and here I will give the unique also and here I will give the true yeah and let me just see yeah this will be done and uh, here also I will give the password will be the in the form of a string and confirm password will be, will be also a string and image also in the form of a string yeah our schema is done let's create a model uh, here give the model model const user model after that here we give the equal to and mongoose dot model after that first parameter name of the collection I give the users user automatically here yes and after that I will give the this schema let's copy this here and here I will paste this now let's go on the this mongodb let me just uh, refresh this and here by default this collection section here see this users is by default is created and this user database is name of the database uh, let me change this database name for that I want to go here and uh, in the dot env file here I was given the database name is the uh, user let me change this I will change this uh, Amit uh, Amit e-commerce yeah this Amit e-commerce now let me just uh, refresh once again and uh, okay it will be not be done uh, I think I want to run again my pro this server let me close this control plus C and Y npm run dev now this will be run again and let me refresh Yeah, here you can see Amit e-commerce this will be created inside this user is, is available and now I will delete this users uh, here I want to write user yeah now here see Amit e-commerce inside this we have a user inside the users uh, there are multiple users that's why by default this mongodb atlas here give the yes now this model is created user model and now I will I want to insert a data inside this uh, for that uh, this sign up here I will come and this uh, first of all I want to check this email ID is available for in database or not for that I will extract the email from request dot body after that I will give the uh, first of all I want to check this for that 
user model dot find one find one is a method uh, in mongoose and here I this first parameter is the name of the email let me just give the email and this email yeah if this email is available here error and result if the this email is available then inside the result will give this and let me just give the call by function console dot log result if not available then here also give the some error console dot log dot error uh, let me just check this go on the here the here uh, where is sign up login sign up I will give the name Amit one two three at the rail gmail dot com password one two three and confirm password one two three now sign up okay let me just go here okay see here giving the null value is printed because uh, this email id is not available uh, if this email id is not available then we want to insert uh, uh, this email id to our database for that here uh, if loop and inside this result and this here if this uh, email id is available then this if loop will be run and here i will give the response uh, response inside this one and here i will give the response send in the form of a object we can give the message and this message will be the email id is already register and now this will be done and if this email id is not available then we want to save this email id and here i will use the asynchronous for that here i give the sync and here i will use the data and data equal to this model name uh, where is model user model and user model inside this we can directly give the uh, this request request dot body because in the front end side uh, key name and key name is exactly same like uh, this first name last name password all these are exactly same as in the front end uh, let me show you when I, I want to go on the sign up says here you can see uh, all these are key name is exactly similar that's why I can directly give in the uh, backend side request dot body and now I want to save this const save for that data dot save and now here I will give the uh, what will be the message dot send and inside this message uh, register register is successful or we can give success fully sign up yeah like that and here yeah this will be done now let me just check this go on the front end let me just open this uh, console and refresh this page now I will uh, first of all upload the images and name surname email id 123 at the rate gmail dot com after that here give the password 123 and here also 123 now let me just click on the sign up I will click see successfully giving the message but here you in the console section see successfully sign up and uh, I was this message is coming from the backend side here you can see successfully sign up uh, this 
okay this will be done and when I was again click see uh, sign up again click then uh, sometime let me just see successfully this is a by default I, I was given in the front end side and here you can see in the, from the back end side it will be coming email id is already registered uh, let me just change this from the here uh, very very in the front end part sign up page uh, here I will give various data data dot response is coming like that and here I will give the uh, in the alert see this data dot res dot message now let me just check again and when I was uh, refresh this page and again I will upload the images and either name um, uh, last name after the email ID one two three at the real gmail dot com and password one two three and current confirm password one two three now click on the sign up and it will be giving the here see email id is already registered because uh, before that i was using the same id uh, same email id that's why and go on the uh, this mongodb and here i will refresh this then you can see uh, in the users uh, it takes some time for loading the data here you can see uh, this first name Amit Pajab and last name email id here you can see this email id and your password and this image is saved in the mongodb atlas database now let's uh, this part will be done save part will be done and we want to like this type when i was click then here top section this types of alert is coming uh, but we want to some uh, animation type for that we can use the uh, hot toast uh, npm let me just see react hot toast and after that just copy this dependency and I will open the new terminal uh, here and first of all I want to go on the front-end folder this front-end folder for that cd front-end and after that here I will paste this uh, npm i react hot toast and now uh, yeah this dependency install if, if you want to check this dependency is done or not directly go on the, in the front end folder directly go on the packet.json file and in the dependency section where is yeah here dependency section here you can see react hot toast and 2.4 this is a version is installed in your this packet.json now let me just go on the sign up and i will also i want to set up this uh, for that uh, i want to what things here this to toasty uh, toaster i want to set up and after that we can use this uh, let me just uh, copy this one and go on the uh, index.js or we can do on the app.js also in this view outside the uh, we can give here uh, no no we can import first here after that here we can make a fragment tag and inside the fragment tag let me just cut this here and here I will paste this after that let's format this shift alt f and just copy this toaster and in the top section I will paste this and now this toaster is done and after that I will go on the sign up page and here I will use this uh, how to use here you can see first of all I want to import uh, toast from the rea uh, react hot toast for that let me just go on the top section and here import toast 
from reactor here you can first of all check this is a small letter T is a small uh, by default some mistake is coming that's why every time you can check this T is small in the toast and after that I will go and here where is my response is coming uh, handle submit and here here I will give the toast do uh, and inside this I can directly give the data res dot message and let me just uh, comment this alert one and now I will go on the here and here you can see let me just upload this my image and surname amit123 at the rate gmail dot com password123 one two three and when I just click on the sign up yeah here you can see in the top section email ID is already registered if I use uh, some different email ID here you can see I will give the uh, like one 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 and click sign up see successfully sign up this uh, this types of alert is coming and if I will go on the my this mongodb atlas and here I will refresh this uh, one data more inserted uh, it takes some time yeah here you can see uh, there is a two item and this is a first one uh, this email id is amit123 and this email id is uh, amit111 which I was recently used this one and when I was again click now nah, then here you can see this email id is already registered now uh, this part will be done and if uh, this registration is uh, done uh, then uh, this will be redirect to the our login page uh, for that in the backend side we want to also send a successful or uh, not successful for that here i will give the one more key uh, this will be the alert and this will be the false and here I will add in the here also I will give the true yeah because this false means that uh, email id is already registered and this true means that uh, uh, this data inserted is successfully if this data inserted is successfully then uh, you want to redirect to user to the our login page for that uh, go on the front end side in the sign up page and here let me here this uh, I will give this if data set dot alert and here I will give this this navigation which I was commented let me just uncomment this and cut this here and paste inside this if loop and now I will again go on here and again click here oh, it takes some time to display yeah email id is already registered then it will be not be redirect to the our login page if some different email id I use let me just use 222 and click sign up success uh, successful sign up and now it will be redirect to the our login page and here I will once write uh, 222 and here it will be giving me the password 123 and click on the login uh, let me just go on the login page yeah here I was not uh, uh, sending uh, this data to the server uh, for that let me just create uh, our sign up page is done now let's go on the login section and here I will go on the API section uh, this is our sign up API sign up and now let's create a login API here API login and here we can give app dot post and this will be the login and after that uh, request dot response and this will be the callback function here I will give the request dot 
body which data is coming from the uh, front end side that will be console log here and uh, let me just uh, uh, close this terminal here it will be display now let me just go on the our front end side in the login page and here I will go and this is uh, when email and password is not empty then this will be display uh, I will done just come here and I will just copy the this uh, top one or I can just copy from uh, this one and this one from here to here just copy this and I will come in the login page and inside this uh, if loop I will paste this and here you can see this error is coming I want to also make this asynchronous function and yeah this will be done and I want to change the this in point in point is login like here I was given this login and after that uh, I will hear this data and which data I was stored inside the this uh, what is the name of this I use state in this data variable and and this will be done this will be done login I want to also remove the this uh, which one this first name remove this one and I want to remove this one uh, handle so password okay yeah now let me just check this data is coming from uh, server here printed or not for that come here and click here and let me just go here you can see uh, email is coming and password is coming like that uh, these are coming and uh, we want to in the server side let me just close all this file first and this env login app env yeah we working on the this index.js which is a uh, from the backend side and this login page uh, from the frontend side and here I will come uh, in the backend side uh, uh, first of all I want to again check uh, this email ID is available in our database or not uh, for that if first of all I want to extract the email uh, from the request dot body if or we can use the user model dot uh, find one and inside this we can search uh, email is available email and here this will be the callback function and here I will pass the two parameter first one is the error second one will be the result uh, if this uh, the uh, email ID is already registered then here it will be giving the, the data and here I will give the uh, if this will be if loop result if this email uh, if loop uh, email ID is already registered then here uh, send the re uh, response here uh, message and here I will give the what is the login is successfully and also I want to send the data here I will give the alert will be the true and also we want to send this result one and we in the result one also contain the password let me just show you first like here I will give the result and uh, just log in. log in again here I will use the 111 and here I will give the password 123 and login go here here you can see it will be giving the this image uh, base 64 and here you can see it will be coming uh, like a ID first name last name email and this also giving the password but we don't want to send the password to the user again uh, for that here we want to um, we want to 
uh, manually here we can give the like uh, here we can give make one data send it equal to the one object and here I will just uh, copy this all this section uh, once I want to copy this copy from here to here and let me just below this and I will paste inside this and let me just format yeah now here this is a ID by default uh, ID no need of this uh, here I will give the result dot underscore ID and here this first name is coming ok result dot first name and this will be the last name result dot last name and this email id also we want to send result dot uh, email and we don't want to send the password and let me just delete this after that we want to send the image for that result dot image and let me just check again and here go bottom section yeah this part will be done now let me just see this uh, email id already in the database if you want to check this here this see uh, Amit one 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 at the rate gmail dot com and password is the one two three. And now let me just log in this here and go on the back end side. Yeah, here you can see it will be giving the okay. Why this again printed uh, password and confirm password? Okay, I was here console log the result, but I want to log the data sent. Let me just console dot log data send now let me just check again on the back end and click here go on the here you can see let me just check now here uh, data is coming like id and first name last name email id and this images now this will be done i want to send this data to the user also directly i will give this data equal to this data set when user will be login then this data set also printed let me just show you in the console here when I just login see when I just click login here in the console it will be given the alert will be true and data key name and inside the data key name see this email first name and this profile images and last name and this ID and in the message section login is successful if uh, here some other uh, email ID I was entered which is not available in our database then uh, it will be show the some error let me just click this login and here okay nothing is coming why let me just see okay inside the if loop I was uh, not created the else uh, let me just create this else if this data is not available then we want to just copy this response here uh, I will check this uh, here I will give the message email is not or we can give the this email ID is not available yeah like that and here we can give the alert will be the false after that here this data no need of a send this data uh, here or we can send another uh, please email or we can give the email is not available 
and here give the comma please sign up now it will be done and here this will be let me just go on the here and check this again when I just click this it see email is not available please sign up yeah and this will be given the alert will be the false and now I want to in the front side uh, there is login sex uh, the login section I will also use the toast uh, okay I want to first of all import this toast import toast from react hot toast after just, just copy this here and I will give here and this will be the data send dot message yeah and here if login is successful then data dot send dot alert login is successful then it will be navigate to the navigate oh, okay I was not imported let me just see okay I want to use the use navigator from the react router import use navigator from the react router dom just copy this and I will do this one here const navigate equal to use navigate and this navigate will be if login is successful then it will be redirect to the home page directly I will give this if not and then it will be redirect to the navigate uh, or we can give the some some set of time or we can for now it will be okay now let me just check this and go on the browser and when I click on the login see here giving the email is not available please sign up and let me just uh, which email id is available that will be used here you can see amit111 and password will be the 123 and login and it will be giving the response uh, yeah login is successful and it will be go on the our home page like that uh, home page redirect but it takes some time uh, for that directly it will be go on the this home page uh, for that here I will give the set uh, time how out and inside this this timeout will be approximately one second and inside this we paste this navigate will be approximately a delay in one second now let me just check go on the login section and here I will give the pass email id 111 and password will be the 123 and log click on the login and uh, it will be login is successfully and it will be redirect to the our home page now this login page will be done all the setup will be done and in the console you can check uh, uh, here we got uh, this data we want to also display our image in this icon <coughs> for that we can use the uh, we want to send this data to the global state for that we can use the redux for the state management let's uh, let me just go on the browser uh, here I will open the new terminal just click here and go on the frontend folder cd frontend after that uh, here I want to install the uh, redux for that let me just go on the browser let me just close all these things uh, which are not needed for now and here I will just close the, this mongodb for now and here I will give the 
Redux. So let's go on the official website, and here this Redux is official, but we can use the Redux toolkit, which is easier for the to use it. And let me just click on the start, and when I just click, see here giving me this uh, both are done and I want to just copy this one and go on the terminal here I will paste this and press enter now this will be done and for the checking go on the packet.json here you can see uh, where is Red redux js toolkits and one thing I want to one more uh, npm i redux also press enter and where is redux here you can see redux is coming and one more things npm i react redux and press enter react redux for the here to attach our data to the uh, to provide a data to all these component that's why I use the react redux and yeah now this all things are done here you can see redux and react redux and redux toolkits now this part will be done and let's go here uh, let me just close all this folder first of all here I will create a another folder for that let me just click this folder name will be the redux and inside the redux folder we create a index.js and inside this first of all I want to uh, import config uh, store config let me just see I was also forget it and on the start section in here here you can see uh, npm uh, okay where where yeah config configure store I want to import this from the redux toolkit just copy this here and I will paste on the here and one more things uh, we can just copy this one also and yeah this one and here I will paste this yeah this part will be done and uh, one more things this will be done then we want to this store one we want to use this for that uh, just go on the index.js and here import first of all we import the store which I was created in the index.js file in the redux folder this redux and by default this index.js and now after that we can import uh, what is the provider provider from uh, react redux yeah now I will go on the here and wrap this dot provider okay provider and here pass a props and store and just, just inside this provider wrap this uh, react router and just press shift alt here for the formatting purpose and why this error is coming okay here just copy this here I will paste this oh let me just see I think uh, this is on the redux yeah here this uh, yes will be this small I was used the capital well I think just go on the index.js yeah this here I will give the small yes and here also I will give small and why this error is coming do not use the which error is coming let me just go on the browser and here you can see store store app dot store react redux yeah perfectly and why this error is coming 
okay i was imported the, this uh, store from the uh, redux but i want to import this from a uh, our folder and let me just go on the redux and inside this index.js yeah now it will be done that's why this error is coming and uh, yeah now this is coming everything is fine in our section and uh, now mm, we want to insert our data to here for global for that here i will create another user slice dot js and here i will import uh, create slice from the toolkits and after that here we can give the const initial state this will be the empty object for now I was given this and after that we can give the const export or we can give the export and const uh, it will be the user slice and it will be the create uh, slice it will be the object and inside that first of all we can give the name user after that we can give the initial state and after here give the reducer and we want to here create a login and this will be the login and here state dot action and this will be the callback function yeah like that and yeah this console dot log action dot yeah just console log this and we want to insert this data inside the this and after that we want to come in the index.js file and here we can import I was uh, not uh, yeah here I was in, uh, exported but I can do here export default user slice dot reducer reducer and after that I will go on the index.js file this redux folder and here I will give the import read uh, user slice user slice uh, or we can give the user reducer user slice I think is perfect name and we can add one more we can change the name also because here I was given the by default then if this anything is uh, exported from this uh, directly it will be the user this user dots reducer that's why and here i will give this user slice reducer just copy this here and here i will paste this and one more thing so this is a reducer we can do like that inside the user and here I will give the data now this part will be done and here this login also I want to export this export login uh, from or we can give the from from user slice dot action I will add the const yeah now this login is exported or we can change the uh, login method is a perfect name and just copy this here or we can give the login redux uh, yeah just copy this here here I will paste this and this will be the exported and let me just go on the uh, login page 
here I will first of all uh, this will be the, all the setup and here we can give the const user data equal to the user use selector we can use the use selector uh, which is coming from the uh, react redux and he inside this we can use the state and state uh, let me just console log this first of all I want to show you is user data and here you can see uh, let me just open this console and uh, go on the login section and here you can see this user data you will giving the this types of a sim in this time uh, simply empty uh, when I was login then inside this uh, this all this data is coming and uh, let me just use this another one 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 and here I will give you the password will be the one two three like that uh, in this time this uh, I was not set the data and this response which is coming from the server side this data will be set to the this redo uh, this user for that uh, here I will give the dot user uh, dot user and for the setting uh, to send uh, this data to redu redux for that we can use the const uh, dispatch use dispatch from the same react redux make sure that here imported and after that we can uh, when I was login then this response I want to send to the our this redu uh, redux for that uh, on this dispatch uh, I will just copy this and I will send to the uh, when I was handle submit and uh, this response where is yeah if this uh, will be su login successfully then we can send the data to uh, dispatch and it will be the uh, what with the data res and in the this user slice dot js here I was console load this and first of all I want to also import this method just copy this and here go on the login page and in the top section import login redux from the user slice and just copy this method and I will give this here inside this and it will be the inside the method like this types of a and after that uh, let me just log in this go on the here and here I will give the 111 and giving the password 123 and when I just click on the login okay yeah he he here you can see this uh, payload is user dot slice line number 10 which I was console uh, user dot slice and here this console I was given this action and inside action you can see this payload will be contain the uh, all this data which are coming from the server side and inside the payload this data keyword will be contain the detail of the login section and for that we can give action dot uh, what is the name of payload and payload dot data yeah like that and we want to set to this data to the in this initial state for that here I will give the state uh, directly we can give the state equal to the action dot payload dot data and here I was also getting the data uh, where I was uses uh, where, where, where? yeah user dot this uh, you use selector this data is printed and we will want to 
just show the name to the our this alert which are hot toast is coming for that here and this will be the uh, I will show before this here I will paste the yeah like that user data dot user dot uh, I will give the first name yeah like that now let me just see go on the here and here I will give the 111 and here I will give the password 123 and click on the login and it will be take some time yeah here undefined is coming why and all this okay okay this first name I think some mistake let me just console log this first which data is coming uh, we can for now I will remove this and here console dot log dot user data uh, this user data is coming from this uh, reducer method this is from the redux and this will I was console log let me remove from here and I will come here where 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 yeah here I was console log this user data and now let me just check again and login again here I will give the email id 111 and here password will be the 123 and click on the login and yeah login is successfully here giving the uh, this log console log line number 55 login.js yeah this one and here let me expand this okay here no data is uh, inside this and why I will check this uh, let me just go on the user dot slice and I was giving the okay here I was not created anything let me just give the user and this will be the object simply simple object and here I will give the state dot user like this types of a and now let me just see again again I will log in this 111 and here I will give the 123 and login yeah now let me just exp uh, this one and here you can see now our data is also is not set inside this and uh, why these are coming mm, let me just console yeah this data is coming here but not uh, stored inside the our this uh, initial state this one and for that uh, I think here I was not set the all this name that's why it's not coming then we can do just remove this here I will give the just same all this key name is similar to which coming from the user side uh, from the backend side for that let me just log in this and here I will just copy this all this key name and just copy this here here I will paste this and let me just delete this one and this one and this here I will give the comma here also comma here also comma here also comma and here I will give this uh, by default this will be the string and yeah like that let me just format this okay 
here I will give this will be the empty string here also I will give the empty string and here also here also here I was not given the colon yeah like that now I w I think I want to set uh, let me just comment for now and here we can give the state dot uh, id first of all we said id and action dot payload dot data dot underscore id state dot uh, first name it will be equal to the action dot payload dot data and after that first name state dot uh, last name action dot payload dot data dot last name and state dot uh, email id will can action dot payload dot data dot email id and anything uh, yeah image also state dot uh, image equal to the action dot uh, payload dot data dot uh, image now let me just check this again uh, refresh this page go on the login page and here i will give the email id will be the 111 and password will be the 123 and click on the login and here this user data is now here is you can see uh, all this data is empty uh, because here all this data is empty let me just go on the login dot js line number 55 and where is login dot js okay before data will be uh, sent to the redux i was console log this that's why uh, this data is giving me the here empty and let me just cut this here and i will uh, when the data will be set to the uh, redux then i will print this here i will print this yeah now let me just check again login and here i will give the 111 and password will be the 123 and click on the login and now here this user here you can see in the login.js line number 65 and yeah line number 65 this one uh, this uh, which is data is coming from the redux yeah here you can see inside this email id and our uh, first name and this image last name yeah now this data is coming first of all we if uh, some user are already logging then here display the images and for that let me just go on the where is component and inside the header here we want to set the user image for that uh, this is a login and yeah here this is a display the users images and let me just uh, comment this and see yeah this is a user icon now here i want to display the user i uh, users fo image for that first of all here i will uh, use uh, use selector for get the data from the redux here i will give the user data equal to use selector dot state dot user and dot let me just console log this and here i will give the user data and let me just why these are coming okay this is inside this i want to pass a callback function and inside the parameter is a state and state dot user now let me just uh, click here login section and here i will give the one two three and password will be the one two three okay here email id will be the 111 and click login login is successfully it will be redirected here right click go on the inspect and console here you can see our data is now coming here see header dot 
js line number 11 here line number this one header dot js one now i want to set uh, this Im uh, image to here for that uh, where is this icon i want to check okay this one just close this first and comment this and check yeah this one icon here i will be giving uh, first of all i want to create inside this curly bracket after that here uh, this user data and here i will give the user data dot uh, image uh, ternary operator if available then image src and inside this we can give the directory to this one just copy this and here i will paste this after that here give the colon and it will be a single line uh, yeah, here and it will be also and why these are coming okay here i was not close the image tag yeah now let me just see here see this image is coming but it will be too much big uh, for that uh, i will give this class name and here i will give the h will be full and width will be full yeah now here i will give the width will be 10 and height also 10 now let me just see yeah it will be look like this and it will be rounded full and overflow hidden yeah like that and below this i will give the shadow let me just see and uh, we can give the drop shadow yeah little look a uh, little bit like this yeah it will be coming and here this login is coming no problem let me just refresh this and again login first of all go on the login and here i will be enter email id and uh, at the rate gmail.com and here password 123 and click on the login now see login is successfully here image is coming and he here when the user will be login then here not coming uh, this login instead of this login coming a uh, logout for that uh, uh, here i will give this uh, here I will use the uh, and here I will give just cut this here or we can use here ternary operator directly and here I use the p tag or we can use directly this copy this one and here I will paste this and if this is coming then here display the log out and here ternary this navigation one just cut here here i will paste this yeah now see let me refresh this and again login here see login is coming i will login one two three 111 at the gmail.com after that password 123 and click on the login here see login is successfully it will be redirect to home page and here ima image is coming and see this logout and we want to also make this logout uh, cursor pointer now let me just see yeah cursor is pointer and hover effect also we can give hover effect or we can change the text color uh, text will be white and bg will be red yeah now let me just see okay um, instead of outside this we can give here i was given the padding uh, this uh, left and right side let me remove here and see yeah instead of giving here I can give here and here px2 now see it will look like this 
and here top bottom is also coming for that uh, for now it's okay no problem and we this logout when I just click uh, the user will be log out for that here I make a one on click on click on handle log out and just copy this and here I will go top section const handle logout yeah, when we log in then our data will be set to the redux now we want to remove the data from the redux for that uh, uh, let me was show you where I was set uh, go on the login section and uh, uh, just cl close this mm, here when the user will be login then here this dispatch and login redux data will be set here uh, go login redux for that uh, logout I will go on the I can directly uh, where is where is logout uh, mm, where is here I will give the first of all import uh, const dispatch equal to the huge selector sorry huge dispatch from the uh, react redux after that I will make uh, in the redux where is user slice and inside this I was only making the login redux here I will make another function uh, log out redux and here is state action like that here I was setting all this data now I will empty all this data just copy this here and here I will paste this again and here I will give the ID will be empty here I will be empty and this one will be and this one will be and this one will be now this one done and just export this logout redux here and just copy this here I will be import on the header uh, here I will directly import logout redux from the redux user slice after that I will go use this dispatch and here logout section I will give the logout first of all dispatch inside this logout redux and inside this I can directly give the nothing for now it will be okay and just let me just uh, first of all refresh this and click on the login section okay here padding is gone let me settle this also and just copy this p padding here px and I will paste on the this login also yeah now it will be coming refresh again click here okay it will be see this uh, image will go about uh, let me just click see this image will go a little bit uh, top side not in the center uh, let me just see why this are happening and it will be happening Uh, here I was given the absolute uh, right side 0 pg flex item call and here I was given the justify content justify mm, justify center items instead of here I can give 
here this one and here I was given the overflow hidden uh, here I was given the height and here I was given the flex item center justify so center what is happening ok it will go above let me log in first and check 1 2 3 uh, 1 1 1 and here I will give the 1 2 3 and log in now see here image is coming ok and when I just click on this image here log out when I just click on this log out see log out will uh, this will be, uh, this image will be go on the top because here I was given the this height uh, uh, height and width let me reduce this I will give the approximately 8 and here I will give the 8 now see it will be coming center and when I just click here login here I will be enter the our e email id and at the rate gmail.com after that password 123 and log click on the login see our user login is successfully and here and here we can log out uh, when I just click see log out you done but no message is coming for that message we can do here we can use the toast from Re react hot toast import from the react hot toast after that here I will get the log out successfully and see when I just click login enter the email id 111 gmail.com after that 123 and click on the login yeah login is successfully and it will be redirect to home page and when I just click again log out see log out is successfully like that our login section and sign up part will be done now let's uh, go on the, our home page make this home page for that uh, let me just go on the home page uh, here we want to also import some uh, images for that uh, in the new up upload first of all we upload the images after that we fetch and display on the home page for the uploading section let's first do upload image and let's me go on the this new product and where was the new product I was make here and here I will give uh, first of all make a form tag and inside this first of all label we can give the HTML for uh, name of the product here we can give the name and input type equal to test and here give the name name equal to name product name and second one will be the our let me just see here it will display name and second we want to category for the select and the select tag inside this we can give the option and inside option first one is the fruit and second one will be the vegetable and third one will be the ice cream and fourth one will be the let me s uh, fruit vegetable ice cream and next will be the dosa and next one will be the 
pizza you can add by your own which image you are uploading uh, which category also and here this one one two three total five let me just see yeah these are display like a cake chicken uh, not available yeah that much uh, done and we will add later also and now let's go on the next part and after that we want to upload our images for that here I will make a uh, uh, here I will give the div class name I will add later here first of all I give the h1 tag and here it will be the height will be approximately I think uh, 28 pixel and width will be full and give the bg background color will be slate like that and now first of all we make all this content in the center for that here I will give the class and it will be the uh, what will be margin margin auto and its width will be approximately I give the width will be full and its max width will be approximately um, w of max dot w dot uh, approximately 384 and let me just see okay little bit more we can go md yeah and here I will give the um, my equal to I will give the mm, padding equal to 2 like that and uh, 4 is perfect yeah 4 is perfect now I will give this form tag and uh, or we can give the just cut drop shadow or shadow we can give shadow uh, shadow is look like it's not good for that just cut here uh, all this cut here and I will give this form tag class name and inside this now let me just see ok it will be fine and here I will give the padding let me remove this padding here and I will paste here now see little bit space is coming and in this form tag I will give the flags and flags call yeah it will be perfectly and inside the form little bit padding it will be approximately 3 ok it will be fine and here I was given the div tag height will be 7 but white height will be not taking h will be 8 let me just give the more uh, we give approximately 40 yeah 40 is perfect and this color is too high we can reduce this 300 yeah like that and after that we can give the my will be 2 3 and rounded yeah like that and inside this we display the icon for uploading uh, react icons upload and where is upload uh, let me just see uh, this one just copy and here I will paste this and here I will import from react icons slash bs 
and here I will see okay this size is too much small for that let me just cut here and use the span tag and inside this this is span tag I will give the class and this tag size will be the 3xl yeah now let me little bit more 4xl and now this icon will be coming in the center little bit more mm, 5 yeah this icon is for the center here I will give the flex and items center justify center yeah this icon is coming in the center side for the upload image and after that uh, let me also design the our input box and this input and here this one here I will give the class first of all giving the background color little bit uh, approximately 100 and also this uh, form background color BG white yeah BG white will be perfect and it will be the 200 and this uh, here I will give the little bit padding it will be approximately 2 uh, not one is perfect and like that just copy this class name and I will give that this select also and in between that uh, margin one here also here little bit of space in between them and here I will give the label I was not given let me just give this label HTML for category here I will give the category and here I will give the ID equal to category yeah like that uh, and this image and each a price let me just go below this and here I will here I will give the um, uh, label and HTML price and after below this I will give the here I will price input type equal to test and after that here just give the same style which I was given the before uh, this both of them for that let me just copy here and I will paste inside this here yeah now see it will be coming here and here I was not given the label let me just give this uh, this one here I will give the label and HTML for image and here I will give the ID image okay this will be coming and why these are here I was given the margin only let me remove this here and yeah now I will add the margin from this price here I will give the class name I'm giving the margin equal to 1 and also yeah now it's really done and this image here you can see this background color I was given the 3 let me just give the 200 yeah now all this similar and this price and this name category uh, and images price and last one will be the description uh, let me just see and here I will use the test area first of all give the label HTML for description of the product description 
after that here give the description and input type equal to test uh, or we can use the another uh, tag which will be the text area text area equal to call calls uh, uh, I will not doing of the calls give the only rows rows will be approximately three and just close this uh, this will be then like that let me see here it will be display and I will give the same design which I was given the uh, this input let me paste here and here this will be the resizable but I will of this for that uh, resize will be none and here it will be gone and yeah now all this part will be done and here I will make uh, it will be approximately 2 mm. yeah it will be small and here I will make a submit button let me just give this button uh, save yeah and this button design class first of all I give the this button will be approximately bg slate uh, which will be the 500 and however I will give the bg red uh, what will be the 500 um, I will give this uh, red color mm, it will be 500 it will be 600 and this bottom text uh, color will be white text size will be LG let me just see and font will be bold and drop shadow font much more bold we can give the medium font yeah after that I give the margin from the top and bottom it will be 2 yeah like that it will be done we have uh, all this part will be done now uh, grab all this value and first of all uh, user will be upload the image here when uh, user will be click then it will be able to upload the image and here display also for that first of all we do uploading section after that we get this value and for that let me just go here uh, you have remember that in the sign up uh, section we have uh, created like that to upload a user profile image uh, let me just show you uh, where is uh, handle submit yeah handle upload profile image like this uh, we have uh, created one function image to base 64 uh, here uh, where is input type is equal to file in the top section here see like that we have a uh, created input is equal to files and we are uh, like that uh, when I was click on the this section it automatically click here this image one and uh, able to upload the images for that like that I will do this first of all let me just go on the again in new product and here I was given the this label and after it below this I will create an input or we can create a inside this here also input uh, type equal to file yeah like that and here I will give the on change method will be the upload image 
and just copy this here and come here I will make a one method const upload image like that and here I will pass a e and let me see here see it will be display here but uh, it I will give this class will be height and here I will give the hidden okay hidden now it will be gone but when I was click on uh, in this box then this input will be working for that uh, I was here created this label and here I will give the ID will be image and we don't need of a here give the ID this one just delete this delete and here when I was click okay it will be when I was click on the, this image see then it will be opening uh, for that uh, we just uh, cut here and pa paste here now refresh this again and when I just click here see it will be opening like that it will be working for now and our mouse cursor will also not change for that uh, uh, here I will give this uh, cursor pointer see yeah when I was click ok I am able to uh, upload the images like that where is my image uh, ok it will not be display just random image this one where is this one but here not able to display this image and now here one object ok not this one uh, let me just console log this one console dot log e e dot files like that let me just click here and upload image ok it will be giving the undefined uh, like that we have uh, given in the sign up page and uh, where is sign up handle upload profile I will just copy from uh, this one just copy it to because this method will be convert image into base 64 just copy this from here to here and I will go on the new product section here I will paste this and I will import the this image base 64 and from the utility where is a page sign up and utility from the utility folder image base 64 I was written this all this code let me import this new product and I will give the base 64 directly see here it will be imported this is a VS code edited that's why and this is asynchronous function yeah now let me just see go here and click when I just click here select image and upload see this image is coming now I want to also display ok this is a video not a images and when I just click again let me just see uh, only uh, we will make user will upload image for that uh, here I will change this in the input here I will give the accept uh, image slash hashtag only user able to select the images now let me refresh this and click here again see now only image is displaying now I am able to select any images click here and see here images is only display now I will also able to display this image here uh, for that uh, let me just create a here image image tag image src and inside this I will insert the path of this and before that I will I want to create a use state for restoring all this section for that here I will create a const data is equal to set data from use state and it will be contain object first will be the name of the product 
and it will be and second will be the category and third will be the image and fourth will be the price after the last one will be the description mm, description yeah now this part will be done and first of all just go below this and here i will make a, another method uh, for on change and const handle on change and it will be the call arrow function yeah like that i will here give the this just copy this here and i will paste on the this input uh, first of all on click on change sorry on change and i will paste this method here and just copy this here i will also paste on the this select one and also i will on the where 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 this input uh, this price one and description where this text area tag and now after that i will give the all this in the input i was already given the name is equal to name and in the category section also i will give the name name is necessary for that uh, it will be created a uh, key name that's why category and after that here i will give the uh, price name equal to price and last one will be here i will give the name equal to description like that and after that uh, uh, this on change method here i will give the e pass a para parameter e after that inside this i will extract the value uh, like a name and value equal to e dot target and after that i will this set data and here i will give the set data callback function and first of all i will restore the previous value and here i will pass a return an object just spread the previous value after that we can give the name inside the this uh, square bracket if you use it like that it will be not be happening give the error that's why i show you and after that you can directly here give the value and now let me just see and i will print the, the, this data value when i was click on the uh, on submit also for that uh, in the form tag I will give here on submit yeah uh, here I will make one method uh, const handle submit callback function and just copy this handle submit here I will paste this and here const dot data now let me see refresh this page and this will be also printing for that let me comment this for now like that here I will I give the name product uh, here I give the product name will be like a ice cream ice cream here you select ice cream and price uh, like uh, 53 and description ice cream and when I just click on the save okay this page is re refreshed but in the URL you can see uh, this name is equal to ice cream category is equal to ice cream and price is equal to 53 description like that uh, these are happening for st stop this and in the handle submit here I will give the e dot prevent default I will give the prevent default like that now let me refresh again and here I will ins insert ice cream ice cream here I will able to select any images for now I will select any image 
and here not able to display let uh, and here description and click on the save see here in the category ice cream description and image is not coming because I was not save don't worry I will give you and name also and price these are coming let's uh, make the image for that uh, where is uh, upload here and here I will give the set data inside this callback function and I will first of all pass a one parameter previous value and after that return one object spread this previous value and after this I will give the image equal to the this data and now yeah like that let me just show you again let me refresh this page and here I will give the again ice cream uh, click here upload the image and here price one two three description and click on the save and see here category description image name and price price all these are coming and we want to also display the, our image here uh, for that uh, now data will be stored inside this image will be stored inside this use state object and now I will go uh, here I will give the data dot image and now see here it will be displaying because I was uploaded the my profile image that's why and no problem for now I will give the class equal to full uh, height equal to full it will be perfect and what is happening okay image will be uh, yeah yeah now see image will be like that and uh, image will be not be in the center for that uh, here I was given the flex item just if I contain center yeah everything is perfect and now I will when our image is uploaded then this icon will not be able to display let me upload the uh, original icon which I was uses here I will go on the restaurant and front end part SRC and in that assist folder let me upload the, this Apple image see it will be coming here Apple and this icon is also able to display but uh, we can do here give the ternary some condition like if data dot image is available then also display the this image otherwise it will be display the this icon just cut here and here I will paste this now let me just go here and refresh this page here I will type apple and here I choice a category will be fruit and upload the image see here it will display the apple image and here I will give the price and description and click on the save it will be coming yeah now this part will be done upload section will be done and one thing more uh, if we upload this image and we are want to change this image then again we can click here and click this image automatically it will be done now our this part will be done and now the all this section will be done now we are uh, make a one api for uh, save all this data to the database for that uh, let me just go on here and uh, go on the backend section index.js and here i will first of all we want to make a one schema for the uh, upload a product uh, image for that uh, uh, for that here is the schema of the user and this part will be all this user and here below this I will make a uh, what will be the uh, product section in the single file I will uh, I will creating all this 
but you can uh, separate all this as you need now here this product section first of all uh, I will give the make a money schema for that uh, const schema product equal to mongoose dot schema inside this we can give the let me just copy the all the key name which I was using in the front end section first of all let me just collapse this and go on the new product section and in the top section like this image category uh, and Im sorry name cat Im category image price and description just copy this and go on the backend section index.js and here I will paste this and here I will define the data type this will be the string and uh, this category will be the also we will give the string and here also we can give the image will be in the form of a string and price also here I was given the in the form of a string you can also give the in the form of a number depend on the which data type you are sending from the front end part and last one will be the description and now here I will make a model and for that const product model equal to uh, mongoose dot model and first parameter is the name of the uh, product like here I will be the product and second will be the schema just copy this here and come here here I will paste this now let's go on the browser and check this collection is created in the mongoose database or not for that let me just go here here open this and here I will go open the mongodb and let me just click on the sign in and after that here I will enter the my email id now here uh, Amit PRJ my email id which I was created account in the mongodb you can enter your and click next after that here I will give the password and after that give the login now after that I will go on the my Amit store e-commerce uh, which I was created the organization after that I will go on the e-commerce and uh, database and go on the browser section yeah here you can see which I was let this product I was create here giving the model name is a product this is a actually collection name uh, here I was given the product by default mongoose give this name will be the products and here uh, I was given the the users user here by default giving the uh, users and here inside inside the user you have see uh, we have uh, multiple data let me just show you yeah total we have a uh, three data like uh, Amit 123 and 119 and this image and in the product section uh, in this time no data is coming because I was not inserted any data now let me just go here and uh, product uh, yeah product section here now first of all we create a upload a product uh, for that upload or we can give the save product in database for this API here give the API for that app dot uh, we can give the post method and it will be the upload product after that second here we, it, I will pass a uh, callback function in this callback function it will be the uh, two parameter request and response and here I will uh, uh, first of all here request let me just console 
dot log and request dot body like that uh, let me just copy this one and go on the front end part and where where uh, in the new product uh, where is handle submit uh, one thing more I want to know yeah here in the uh, env file where is here env file i was given the our server domain name like here i was given the localhost if we deploy then we will change this directly automatically reflected everywhere now let's go on the uh, new product and here this cj asynchronous function i will make this after that here now here i will give the uh, first of all const use uh, fetch data equal to weight dot weight equal to fetch after the inside this we will give the uh, url for that uh, let me just use the template string and dollar curly bracket process dot env dot what is the name of this let me see dot env just copy this react app server domain and after that i will go on the new product here i will paste this after that here let me just see i was given the slash or not okay here i was not given uh, for that here i will come and give the slash and our api endpoint will be the index.js upload product just copy this and come in the new product and here i will give the endpoint name after that uh, second parameter will be the object it will be the first of all method Na method name will be the post and second will be the con header headers and it will be the content type first will be the content type will be the json format application slash json and after that i will give the body inside body we will send our data this one uh, which data i was storing in the this UG state and uh, just copy this data and here i will paste this first of all i will convert this js data in the form of a j stringify and after that this will be done and const fetch response will be equal to the weight fetch data dot json we will convert which data is coming from the server side in the form of a json after that uh, here just console log fetch res ok just copy this here here i will paste this and everything is done yeah now let me just check this and in the database uh, currently in the our product section no data is available let me just show you refresh and see currently no data is available for now let me just refresh this and here i will give the uh, let me just first of all select uh, like this one image i was selected apple and here i will give the name will be the product name will be apple category will be the fruits and price will be approximately few of few uh, 52 and description will be the fresh apple and click on the save ok here for here this error is coming just go here and check on the backend section ok here i was not given the slash let me just give the slash and now check again and click on the select save and yeah all this data is coming and let me just go on the back end here you see all this data is printed here in inside this console now 
let me just see all this data is coming or not and here see category is empty okay let me just see okay i was selected the fruit but it will be not selected for that here i will change in the front end section uh, let me where is front end new product and here i will give the uh, one more option this will be the uh, what will be the first will be the select uh, category and for that here I will give the value and it value will be the category and here I will give the or here I will give the other category other and here I will give a value will be the fruit in the form of a string and after that here I will give the value will be vegetable and here value will be the ice cream and here it will be dosa and last one will be the pizza and one more I will add it will be the rice and here I will add rice like that now let me just go again and refresh this page and one more things uh, in the backend side nothing data is coming for that we will send the data huh? here response dot send it will be the uh, first of all we send the message uh, upload here successfully yeah now it will be done and uh, response will be coming successfully now let's check again refresh this page and here I will upload the apple and click on the select it will be fruit and this image will be like that here I will give the price will be the approximately 60 and in the description I give the fresh apple and click on the save and see response is coming message uploaded successfully and let me just go on the backend side here you can see our response is coming uh, let me just go down 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 little bit up and here see apple fruits and image now in this time category is also coming and below this price is 60 and description is fresh apple yeah now we are getting this data and one more things if uh, let me just refresh and when I just click on the uh, by default here see upload successfully by default and when we go on the backend side here see we got uh, this empty data but uh, in this time uh, for that uh, we make a validation in the front end part and for that I will go on the front end uh, new product and here I will uh, add one condition uh, for condition will be the like uh, if uh, what will be the uh, first of all we make extract all this data from uh, first of all name image and category and price and uh, description in the optional no need of this and Im name image category and it will be extract from the data and here I will give the condition if name image and it will be category and price is not a empty this is a false value and now I will just uh, cop cut from here and here I will give this if this will be anyone uh, like Im name image and category anyone is empty then he uh -huh. here give the error toast 
from the react hot toast and make sure that in the top section it will be imported toast from react hot toast and here i will give the uh, um, what will be the give inter require field f i e l d like that fields we can give or like that when i just click on the save see it will be the inter require field and now and one more thing here i will give the toast dot uh, fetch here it will be give the message now see yeah this will be done and let me just one more apple select fruit upload images price will be 80 description will be the apple fresh or fresh apple and click on the save and see upload successfully and go on the backend side here see now we are getting this data now uh, in the backend side now we want to save this data to the our database in this time you can see in our this product one let me refresh first in the product this product uh, collection no data is available for that uh, we want to upload the data and this model let me just come here and here i will give the uh, product dot what will be there uh, directly we can give the this product model but uh, it will be the asynchronous function for that here i will use the async and give the data equal to product model inside this we can directly give the request dot body and after that data dot save this method is called and uh, it will be the here i will use the wait here also i will give the data save and here i give the wait dot data dot save now again let me just go on the front end side refresh this page and in this time you can see no data is available let me show you once again yes yeah, see zero now let me just go here i will give the name of the product will be the apple and category will be fruit let me just select this apple and here i will give the price will be the 50 and it will be description fresh apples and click on the save here response is upload successfully now let's go on the backend side here it will be printed now let's go on the our database and refresh this and yeah here you can see in the product section one item is added uh, this apple fruits and our images and uh, this uh, price and description like that we want to add a much more image let me just add one by one and here i will just make uh, this big screen and now when we upload then all this value again make empty uh, for that it will be see when i was upload successfully then it will be not be empty for that uh, we are in the front end side uh, front end part where is new product and here i will give the set data will be all field will be uh, blank directly for that i will just copy from the top section here i will just paste it and in the form of a return yeah like that and uh, i will do uh, here this input i will add a value also here I give the value equal to giving the data dot uh, what will be the name 
and after that this select one here also I want to add the value props and here will be the data dot uh, what will be the category and below this uh, here I will add uh, no need of here and here I will go where is uh, this is price also uh, here I will give the price will be value equal to data dot price after that we can add on the descrip uh, description part this text area value equal to and uh, it will be the data dot uh, description now let me refresh and now again we upload a next product let me first select the image here I will select the like uh, this vegetable just cop uh, copy this uh, yeah this image now here I will give the name of this one bunch and select a category will be the vegetable price will be uh, 20 and description will be fresh vegetables and click on the save see our pro product uploaded successfully and all this field will be empty and let's go on again refresh this mongodb database and now here you can see uh, we had added the second our product this one and vegetable category and this image now like that uh, we can add uh, much uh, all this product let's uh, start adding the second product will be the this apple will be done now this uh, kiwi just copy this or uh, upload a kiwi and here i give the name will be the kiwi and category will be the fruits and price it will be approximately 65 and description description you can write by your own or you can I think just google it little bit to add this and yeah just and paste now this product is done now let's go on the next one this is a basmati rice okay let me select the rice category and here I was copy the name and first of all here I will give the basmati rice and it will be like that and rice category and its price will be the 102 and here I give the fresh basmati rice and save now next product will be the what is this uh, beetroot and uh, click save and here i will give the name of this beetroot and after that category will be the vegetable and price will be 50 and here i will give the um, just copy this here here i will paste this and save this product now next product will be the uh, cake birthday cake give this name here I will the birthday cake only that much name will be the birthday cake and category will be the okay here I was not given the category cake okay let me just add the category cake let me just go here and here I will add the category cake and here I will give the cake yeah now let me just go here and here see cake category is coming and this birthday cake and here price will be the 400 and here I give the birthday cake yeah like that and just save this 
and next product will be the uh, yeah this cake here I give the flower and select category will be cake its price will be approximately 1050 and its cake like that and save this and next will be the uh, this biryani I think not brinjal just this one the vegetable category and it will be the um, ve vegetable price will be the 40 and here I will give the directly just now let's next one will be the after the brinjal uh, this burger oh, why this are happening Just and select the mm, burger is not have here let me add this category also here I give the burger here I will here you here also I was miss now let me just see yeah burger burger uh, burger king with hope of siege okay no problem like that and here I give the price will be the 98 or 99 and here just paste this and save this yeah uploaded now next one will be the this burger will be done now this belly uh, flow just click here and vegetable category vegetable here its price will be the 60 and this paste this so now next one will be the cake here I give the cake category will be cake and price will be 900 and it will be the uh, uh, cake and save this and after that uh, this cake one cake only cake and yeah like that you can upload a much more product which you want to and upload it done now let's uh, see vegetable like that you can upload by your own images also and it will be I will give the this category after that uh, vegetable price will be the uh, 10 and carrot and yeah done now next will be after the carrot uh, this cauliflower uh, category will be vegetable price will be and save this I uploaded successfully now next one will be the uh, this one uh, chocolate cake ice cream okay category with will be ice cream and here I will give the ice cream like that uh, 
चॉकलेट आइसक्रीम एंड ही इन साइड द प्राइस विल बी द अप्रॉक्सली फाइव हंड्रेड एंड हियर आई विल गिव द सम डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड इट विल बी यू कैन ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लिटिल बिट स्कीप यू कैन स्कीप Save this, and next one will be the this classic burger. Okay. Burger here, and price will be this, and it's a classic burger. Uh, this uh, name will be too much big. We can small this. and here inside the description i will give this yeah, like that Save this. Now next one will be the burger and this coriander. Okay. This is a vegetable. Inside this, I give the vegetable coriander and the price will be the twenty. Inside this, paste this and save. Now next will be the. Uh, this copy and category will be vegetable and here price will be 30 here i paste this some simple and uploaded successfully now next part will be this ice cream and here i give the ice cream category and its price will be the Sixty, and it will be uploaded successfully. Now next part, uh, this pizza, and here I give the category will be pizza. Ingredient, uh, yeah, like that. Pizza gradient like that, and here inside the description I give the little bit more. describe and its price will be the approximately we give the 499 and save this please require fields okay which field okay category i was not selected uh, where is pizza Rice pizza here. Okay, pizza spelling may be mistake. Uh, let me just correct. Not here because this category is created. We can also give this like that. And pizza, and pizza like that. I will go, let me just go on here and refresh this and refresh. Delete this data and again, or we can just also customize this. Let me just see. Uh, it takes some time. Uh, here, let me just go on. Here, at a time only one is display. Let me just go on the total document is twenty. Here you can see. Let me just go on the twenty. It takes some time. Let me just do this first.
we can abs also option to filter also for that here I am uh, just uh, click and next next here we can filter like that I show you if you want uh, like that here I can give the uh, what will be the category category and after that I can give directly pizza like that and uh, after that I apply then here you can see this only one gradient is added uh, available and this one and here you can see this is sparing a mistake we can correct also here edit click on and here I can give uh, one jet yeah after that here save is uh, updated is and click update yeah now see it will be updated and here I can just give the pizza and apply see now it category is updated this one done now let's uh, upload a more product and this pizza will be and this pizza will be done and let's go on the uh, this dosa just uh, and here I can give the dosa and category will be the dosa where is here price will be the approximately 99 and here I can directly give the dosa just you can write uh, any description which you want here I was write just randomly and after that we want to upload this dosa masala and uh, dosa masala category will be the dosa and price will be the 59 and description will be the dosa masala and click save update now let's go on the next part and dosa is done and this dragon fruit and here I can give and here give the name dragon fruit and category will be uh, where is fruit fruits here after that give the price will be the either it's a 199 and here I can directly give the fruits and save now next will be and this banana and after that here I can give this uh, fresh yellow banana okay and here I can choice the category will be the fruits after that uh, what will be the price if price will be 40 and here I can just directly random and now save this now next one will be the uh, it will be fried rice just click this and here I can choice the rice where is here it will be the price will be the 89 and here I can directly paste this save this next will be fruits and here category will be the fruits and its price will be the 199 and here I can give the mix of fruits and save this now next will be the uh, where is uh, mixed fruit and this garlic and here save this here I will give the name will be the garlic and category will be the fruit vegetable and price will be the uh, approximately I can 79 and here I can directly randomly after that uh, this ginger and 
and here I will give this ginger category vegetable and its price will be the 19 and save this now next one will be the after the ginger this capsicum green capsicum and after that category will be vegetable price will be the 49 46 and green capsicum after save this now next one will be the uh, green capsicum after that this green pea and save this here I will go and category will be the vegetable and price will be the 70 and just save this after the P uh, this ice cream and here I will give the ice cream category will be ice cream where is where is here and here its price will be the 69 and yeah save this now next one will be the uh, ice cream and here I can paste this yeah and here I will give the uh, ice cream where is and here inside the price it price will be the 99 and here I will give the random and save now after that this part will tell this cup ice cream and here I can give here it will be the uh, category and price will be the approximately 500 and here just save this now next product like that you can do by your own which you want to and here I will save this here I will get the ice cream and category will be the okay category ice cream price will be the 499 and save this now after that uh, this one Indian garlic it is come in the category vegetable and here its price will be anything you can write and after that save this now next will be the uh, after that uh, this one will done and this mango here I will save this mango can give the repelling of mango any in this time I was uh, just write randomly you can try uh, write your own after that here I, here I give the price and randomly and save this now next will be the <coughs> mango mango and category will be the vegetable uh, fruits and here I will just give the price will be 80 and here it's a fresh mango and save it after that just go next pro and uh, this one is a uh, mango okay and I will just give in the this one and category will be category will be fruit and its price will be one two, one two three just randomly I was giving and after that next will be uh, where this mango part will be done and the Uh, this musk melon just copy this name and here I will go it's come in the category of the fruits and here is a fruits its price will be the uh, we can give the 80 and this save this now let's uh, choice another uh, noodle is, is not uh, onion let me just see and click here here I will give this and its category will be the vegetable and here its price will be the 80 
and save this <coughs> after that we can go next part and uh, this orange and its price will category will be the orange and uh, sorry category with the fruit and its price will be the 91 and here I just write randomly veg orange vegetable sorry orange fruits and save this now here let's next one where is uh, the orange uh, uh, paneer category you can add or yeah paneer we just add this paneer and here I will save this uh, here select the category uh, paneer is available okay not available then we can uh, uh, let me just go on the here and where is new product inside the option we can add uh, paneer and here also we can add and after that in the here we can select uh, ok take some time yeah, coming and now here I will give the price will be the any randomly I was given the price you can give by your own paneer and just save this now next product will be the paneer paneer tikka just uh, copy this here I will come paneer tikka and it will be the in the paneer and uh, category will be the paneer and in between them little bit space I give the and yeah save this now next one will be the uh, this pizza here I will give and I will remove all this in the disc uh, category it will be the pizza and 1799 just save this now next will be the and this picture and this pineapple and it's a pineapple it's come in the fruits and this price will be 60 pineapple save this next one and this one and fruits so its price will be like that we can give randomly and after that we can just delete this here give and save next one ok this one done and this pizza ok up to upload this pizza category will be the pizza and its price will be the 199 here I will give paste and next pizza heart mania uh, sorry pizza heart like that and I will just uh, and now let's uh, select the category pizza here I will give the price 79 and here randomly okay now this what is this noodle no need uh, this potato I will add mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. select category will be the vegetable and its price will be 20 and here I will give the description let's save 
after the potato where is potato okay a red capsicum we can just uh, open this and here I will give the red capsicum and it's a uh, vegetable here I will give the price 50 and yeah save this now next will be the uh, this rice ball and category will be the rice and so price will be the 5.99 here just save this next and after this sandwich we can add and here I will give this sandwich and category sandwich is available not let me just add the category go on the VS code here I will add category yes will be small now let's go here and see sandwich is coming its price will be the 2.99 and yeah sandwich just save this and next will be the this sandwich five ninety nine and save this now next will be the this one and uh, this category will be the fruit price will be the 2.99 and here I will just save this and next one will be the <coughs> spring onion bunch and here I will just give this vegetable here price will be 5.99 and it's uh, randomly and last uh, this strawberry ice cream yeah here I will give uh, here ice cream there is ice cream yeah and here price will be the 2.99 and save this now next one will be the this gava and yeah and its category fruits its price will be the 63 and save this and this uh, last one will the watermelon and here I will give the watermelon its category will be the fruits and its price will be the 50 and save this yeah now see all the product we have uploaded now we want to also get all this product for that uh, just go on the backend side index.js and here we make a one uh, api for getting all this uh, this mongodb data which i was save and uh, for the uh, and one more things uh, we want to add here uh, uh, only admin will be able to upload the uh, this new product and, and uh, no one can upload new product for that first of all we do this for that I want to go on the env file here we can make a react uh, in the capital letter react underscore app and uh, after that underscore admin underscore email here I will give the I give the dynamic coding with Amit at the rail gmail dot com and now I go on the uh, header and inside this where I was given the email uh, uh, yeah this new product and here I will give the first of all check this is I am able to getting this uh, email id or not for that uh, this env let me just copy this and in the header section uh, here I will just console dot log and process 
dot env dot uh, paste this now let me just go on the browser inspect and here okay it will be giving the error okay here it will be empty printing let i think i want to run the front end part again just here control c and terminate this and let me little bit up here i can give npm start yeah it will be started again and now i will close this file and this one and this one also and now again i go on the inspect console and you see we got it this email id uh, dynamic coding with amit at the gmail.com now just copy this and here i will go where is here I will make a curly bracket inside this uh, process that you need dot uh, uh, my email id is equal to the uh, first of all I want to also check uh, which email id is coming from the our this uh, redux for that uh, this will be an user dot email id let me just see user dot let me just see refresh this user dot email yeah user dot email user dot email like that yeah it will be now okay and just copy this here I will go below and here I will give this and it email id is equal to the mm, which I was given just copy this and here I will paste this if it it will be equal to this then uh, our this new uh, new product uh, link will be appear yeah, now let me just go on here and refresh this page and when I just click on this icon see only display login not display the log uh, new product uh, first of all we login and go on the sign up here i will here first of all we upload our profile image uh, yeah this one and here i give the uh, dynamic and here uh, here i give the dynamic coding with amit and email id will be the dynamic coding with amit and here password and here also confirm password and sign up see si uh, successfully sign up after that here again I want to log in and dynamic coding with a myth here I will give the password and login see login is successfully and here see our I logo I our uh, profile image will be display here and here see this logout section is display and one more things uh, this uh, new product also display because this one I was assigned to the admin this email ID that's why and here we want to also display the name of the user uh, below for that we come here and here uh, this will be the here and we can display a name will be here after this login we will dis display the first letter of this or we can display all user uh, let me first check go on here and where is data is coming from user data after that I will go where is here I will give to user data dot uh, uh, first name now let me just see here I will go dynamic coding ok here display the dynamic coding uh, we can give the curly bracket mm, the curly bracket is not display here outside it will be display here I will remove this curly bracket here 
yeah now see here di display the new product and name of the user uh, have login yeah this one done and uh, yeah we go on the next step if uh, just log out and uh, when I just go on the login section in here I write any uh, another email ID then uh, like a one two three and login since see here it will be login and here not display the add to new product like that now this one that let's go on the build make our one API for uh, fetching uh, all this data for that come here and here we can make a app dot here we make a get API uh, we can give the product here first of all I want to give the slash product and here I will give the call by function and inside this request dot response and yeah and let me just check uh, send server is running mm, data like that for the checking this API I want to go on the browser here just type localhost 8080 slash product see here coming the data now I want to the our this product all this product data for that the first of all I want to grab all this data from the this mongodb for that uh, I will use the const data equal to product model dot find equal to this curly bracket yeah now this will be done and to array yeah this one done now just copy this data and I want to send to the for that in the form of a JSON dot stringify and inside this I just paste this and now let me just go on the browser here refresh this see here giving the data modeling to array is not a function uh, let me just see why these are happening mm. one by one okay here I was given that this will be the weight and here I will give the asynchronous function after that yeah now see it all this data is coming and uh, one more thing so this data is not a uh, formatted uh, for that uh, see this is a uh, too much data very high amount of a uh, data because of we have save image in the form of a base 64 that's why uh, like that is coming and total in the mongodb we have a how much total we have a documentation approximately 58 that's why all these are coming it takes some time to load all this data and yeah now for that uh, let me just go on the app.js file and here we can grab all this value here first of all we make a use effect and after that inside the use effect callback function yeah like that after that this if use effect run once okay here I want to t after that here we can give the instant immediate call function and here we can give the like that and here we can give the cost uh, res is equal to response data like that after that we can give the fetch and it will be the server for that we can give the process in the form of a template string dollar process dot env slash what is the name of this let me just go server name 
just copy this and here I will go paste here after this is giving the slash and it will be the product and it will be asynchronous function for that here I will give the async and here I will give the weight and after that I will give now I want to convert this in the form of a JSON for that uh, response data and here it will be the and res dot uh, first of all we give the weight after that res and json format let me just console log this res response data and yeah all this data is coming and let me just go here refresh this page right click inspect console and here yeah see all this data is coming 58 total data in the f coming and now like that is coming first of all I want to convert data in the form of a JSON stringify for that I can give the JSON dot stringify and inside we can send the data now again I will refresh this or we can just copy this here I can go here here I will paste this and close this it takes some time yeah server is running no problem yeah now see all this data is coming now uh, this data is coming I want to set this data uh, in the app.js where is this data I was getting now I want to set this data to to the redux uh, to manage all this data in every component for that go on the redux folder and here I will create an another file which will be the name will be the product slice.js and here first of all we import uh, create slice from redux toolkits after that I will create uh, export product export const product slice equal to create slice and it will be the in the form of object and here I will give the name will be the product and slash after that we can give the initial value and here top section we can give the initial state it will be array like that and after that I will go and here uh, just give the initial state comma and reducers it will be object and here we can give the get set data equal to uh, callback function here I will pass it to parameter state and action and here if some data is coming from the payload for that uh, first of all we check data is coming or not console.log action and now I will give the export const uh, set data equal to product slice dot actions and export default what is the name product slice dot reduce reducer and after that I will go on the index.js here I will give the comma and product comma and I will first of all I want to import here I will give import and what is the name of this uh, product uh, slice and 
reactor here I will add the reducer because I was exported in the form of a here I was exported in the form of a default then I can use here any name which you want to and just copy this here here I will go product equal to like that and now I will go on the home uh, where is app.js where is here and first of all I want to import uh, this uh, function which I was here make just for that set data product I will give the name properly just copy this here I will paste and go on the app.js file here I will import and after that inside this uh, here I give the const dispatch equal to use dispatch and here after the below I will give the dispatch and set data and inside this we can directly give the uh, this response is coming from the server side just copy this here and here I will paste this and now let me just go on the here and refresh this page and once again yeah, it will be coming little bit delay yeah now see in the product dot slice uh, here we got it this in the payload section all this data is coming uh, for that payload section we can go we want to set data uh, to our this initial state for that here I will give state dot or we can give the state uh, directly to this we can give um, array I spread action dot payload and after that we go on the app dot js file where is here I will uh, checking purpose const uh, product data equal to use selector from react redux after that in this pass a callback function state and state equal dot and what is the name of this I was given in the yeah, redux dot product yeah here I will give the state dot product now just console log this product data now let me just go refresh this page and again take some time yeah data is coming this one and this one and yeah okay this uh, app.js here I have printed the empty but I want to just cut this here and paste below this and now think uh, in this time data is not set inside this uh, uh, for that let me refresh again okay here data inside this is not set uh, let me just go on the product slice and here I will create uh, one object inside this we can give the product list and this will be the array and after that here state dot product list yeah like that after that just go here and check yeah here now see where is header here also in this time this will be empty but why this app dot js line number 23 let me just see app dot js line number 23 see this one is printed now and uh, it will be contain this product list 58 now all this data we are getting now just uh, 
first of all we are going on the making the home page our this home page for that mm, all this data we getting where is home page here here uh, let me just come and here first of all I will give the this class uh, padding will be approximately 2 in the mobile version and in the desktop version it will be the uh, padding will be the 4 after that here I will create a uh, do tag class name this two section this left and right uh, and uh, it will be the one another due tag and this one here this left panel I will give the uh, h2 and the file state delivery in your home and in this home I will give the some different color for that uh, your home I will give this color will be text color will be the uh, red 500 let me just see yeah here it will be display like that or we can give some other color let me just see blue it will be not looking good we can go 9 yeah like that and we can give the text uh, size will be the excel let me just see and uh, not excel we can give the here text size class name text will be the to excel or we can give the four excel and after that tab we can give the font will be bold and uh, it size for the mobile version uh, here and here I was add the class will be the fact flex and here I want to add uh, uh, like a uh, div tag for the images image 1 image 2 image 3 like that uh, we have add in this uh, this is our right section and this is our left section and after that this flex yeah this will be done and I want to divide all this in the equal part for that here I will give the width will be 50 percent 1 by 2 and here also we can give the width 1 by 2 and it will be the 1 by 2 only when in the desktop version but in the mobile version or that here I will give one by two yeah in the desktop version it will be one by two and if I go on the mobile version then it will be simply block for that directly here I can do the PMD and let me just check see in the mobile version it will look like this and uh, this yellow is uh, blue color is not looking good we can change this color red a little bit uh, 7 yeah 7 is ok or we can go with the 6 yeah this will ok now here I will little bit uh, more for this is a uh, desktop version font uh, mobile version font here you can see in the mobile version it will look like this yeah and uh, in the top and bottom in the top section I think I want to include something uh, let me just go here here I will include uh, some card 
let me see in the our uh, here we can go where is a folder front end and src and assist some logo is may be available uh, we have not uh, for that we can just go on the google and here we can just type uh, like a delivery for the bike we can go bike bike uh, yeah like that and we want to images bike icons and we choose this one right click copy image we go here here i will give the uh, simple due tag i was given and inside this we can add a p tag and here give the bike delivery and after that i will add img src inside this we can give the image okay i was not copy the url copy image address and here i will paste this after that uh, self closing and this class name i will give the width will be approximately 5 height or we can give the height will be 5 now let me just see uh, here you can see it will be coming a uh, little bit more we can go 7 yeah and both are in a single column for that here i will give the flex and gap will be 3 and after that uh, i will give the this uh, class name text will be sm little bit small and i give the bg slate or bg rate 400 and i will give this Uh, this is a very much uh, I will also define its width width will be 96 let me just see little bit more we can go 32 yeah 32 is perfect and after that uh, this red color is not look good we can go some other color uh, let me just go with the blue no no blue is also not looking we go to yeah now it will be we can give the padding from the x direction uh, to ok and uh, uh, I will give this 36 and uh, item center and also rounded full yeah like that and here I was uh, this tax bike delivery I will uh, make this font bold and uh, let me just see okay much more bold we can give the medium yeah and uh, this text color will be also white or we can give the some other color like we can give the slate 9 and here i was given the background color is 4 we can give the 3 300 yeah like that it will be done and now i will increase this in the desktop version font for that here i will give the md and uh, text size will be 7 xl and yeah it will be 7 xl in the desktop version and here see uh, all these are uh, not in between that no gap is available for that uh, this is left and right here I was given the MD here I will give the gap gap will be approximately 4 yeah like that and in top and bottom little bit space for that uh, 
I will give the padding from Y direction it will be 3 uh, not here here I want to add but here also here I will give the 2 and here I will give the PY 4 where is uh, the heading yeah here PY 3 yeah in between that space is coming yeah now this one done and here below this I will give the random tags some description about this uh, company for that I will give the p tag and use the random for that uh, random paragraph for that I use the lorem and just go here mm, I think this much is perfect I will paste this here and for for uh, this and let me just go here and see here it will be display and uh, yeah and in between them little bit space from the top and bottom for that padding it will be 3 and yeah this tax is very much big uh, very much uh, small little bit we can give the big for that uh, I give the tax will be base yeah text will be base and no problem and this will be covering a full width for that we can make like here uh, for that I will give the this uh, max width max equal to oh, what is this w dot max max width equal to yes same Mm, MD a little bit more we can go LG yeah now it will be fine uh, but it will not look good yeah this will be fine and below this I will add a uh, one button uh, button will be order now and this bottom design giving the first of all this tax color tax will be bold and BG background color will be I was given uh, this same color to this or I will give the red 500 and uh, it will be not look good we can go slate I think red uh, yeah and uh, I will give the text uh, will be white then and padding not a fully white little bit for that we can give the slate and 200 yeah and padding will be 2 or we can give the padding from the x direction will be is and padding from y direction will be one yeah we can give four yeah now I will give the rounded MD yeah like that and order now and uh, yeah this part will be done let's go on the this right one here uh, we will display the uh, our card for that uh, uh, that go on the component section and here I create a file home card dot js and here rafce and let me just import this home card to here let me just delete this and here I give the home card and let me just check here refresh see here home card will be display now I will go here and let me go on the home card or I can go here in the home here first of all I want to get the data const product data equal to use selector and state state dot product 
dot product let me just see here console dot log product data and let me just see right click inspect and go on the console and here let me refresh again in this time see if product uh, yeah it will uh, take some time for loading this data here see we got it all this data home.js yeah here and here we got this product let me just copy this here i will add this here now let me check again yeah home.js and here we got it all this 58 data now in this we want to only display the four for that uh, here const home product card uh, list equal to we can give the product dot slice 0 comma 4 and just copy this here and here I will come here I will perform a map operation and here el and return uh, this home card and one more thing say it takes some time to load this data for that it will be give me error let me show you uh, currently it will be see uh, like that it will be currently not giving but sometime it will be give that's why I will here I will add uh, uh, like that if one data is available then it will be display like that and now yeah see total four card is display and in this card we pass a image uh, el dot image and we want to pass a name product name el dot name and uh, price let me just see in the key name here we got it and we have a image name price price equal to el dot price and also we can add a category also and here i will do the category el dot category yeah this part will be done and uh, and now i will go on the home card here will first of all add uh, name image mm, category and price here first of all we make uh, one card this will be the first one with the div class name inside this we will first of all insert image and this will be here image and here I will give the class name and its class will be yeah here close this now let me just see image is coming yeah here you see this image is very much big and uh, yeah these are coming we can just go here here we can give uh, width will be approximately uh, let me just see i think i want to give 160 yeah 160 is perfect and after that i will I think this apple is background color is not looking good for that we can uh, go home.js and here we can slice from 1 and after that we can go 5 now let me just see yeah all this vegetable and f uh, this one fruit rice and yeah all this unique value now we get and now I want to make all this in uh, here and for that in the home.js here I will make uh, this one and here I will be the flags 
flex wrap yeah and after that we can give gap in between three and it will be not be similar for that we can give flex four gap will be four or we can increase also home card and here i will give the background color first of all this bg slate equal to 300 and after that i will give the uh, little bit padding padding will be 2 and yeah and little bit more width here i will give the what will be this here w will be full and or i can give the height will be full and here i will come here give the height 96 also we can fix width we can also give the fits width here i give the width will be approximately 32 we can give 40 uh, yeah 40 is perfect and uh, yeah 40 is perfect no problem then we can go on the home here i give the uh, padding will be approximately 4 and it will be not coming in the center for that uh, we can give the justify item center yeah it will be coming in the center and after that here this home card i will make uh, all this background color will be border rounded for that rounded yeah and uh, we can give this background color will be white then see okay and after that we can give the shadow because our some product background color is white that's why i was given and yeah it will be done and below this i will display the name uh, h3 and here i will display the name and it will be little bit design we give the font um, semi bold and its uh, font color will be the font uh, text will be slate uh, 600 and text will be center text alignment center and uh, its uh, capitalize uh, for that yeah see now it will look good and i will below this i will give the category also and here little bit tax will be increased i will give the font will be lg and below this i will give the category it will be the category and this also class will be center tax will be center and uh, its uh, tax color will be little bit similar I will give this font or we can give the 5 yeah 
and it will be the uh, medium font will be medium yeah uh, okay it will be looking good and here see this basmati rice uh, this one will be uh, in between that space is coming for that uh, this image i can give the minimum height will be uh, approximately it's uh, i will give the 40 and uh, it will be 100 pixel or we can give the 200 180 150 yeah now see it will be all this uh, text will be in a single row and yeah and below this i will display the price for that here p and here i give the price or i display the rupees symbol and uh, price symbol rupees symbols Let's copy this here here i will paste this and here i will use the spend tag and here i will display the price yeah price will be also in the center for that i will give the class name tax will be center and it will be also bold and we can give the our this rupee symbol in the red for that here I will use the span tag and this rupee symbol will be cut here I will paste here and here I will give the class name uh, text will be uh, we can give the red 500 and yeah it will be coming see now it will look good and yeah this one will be perfectly this part will be done now let's go on the next part uh, this home section will be done yeah, here now below this i will display this tag tag very close mm, here new view tag class name and one thing i was not added here key name key equal to el dot id let me just see el dot id or something other underscore dot id underscore dot id and see let me just check in the mobile version how it will be looking in the desktop version it will look like this and in the mobile version it will be look like this okay no problem it will be done and uh, this tax is i think uh, much more for that i will reduce this tax uh, here i will go and uh, reduce here uh, let me just go on the mobile version yeah it will be look like this now i will make a slider for that first of all here display the name here i will display the fresh vegetables and where is vegetable is display here okay i want to just cut here and uh, this will be I was given the flags outside this here see here it will display flags and I will just class name font will be bold 
and its uh, text size will be 2 XL and uh, text color will be the text slate 900 or we can give the same one eight and after that uh, below this I will give the underline underline and it's uh, or no need of underline for now and below this I will display the card uh, here due class name inside this I will display the all this vegetable for that uh, here I will in the component sex folder I will create another file which will be the uh, card mm. card uh, card feature dot js r a f c e and let me just import this card feature in home dot js here uh, card feature and let me just see yeah here it will be display and uh, its height will be uh, i will do later first of all here i will display the multiple all the uh, product which has a category vegetable for that here i will filter first of all uh, home uh, product card list vegetable so after that here i will use the product dot filter and el equal to the el dot uh, category will be equal to the vegetable vegetables and it will be coming in the form of a array let me just see console dot log and home product card list right click inspect console okay here line number 11 it will be give me the zero i think i was missed something let me just see uh, okay i this is a vegetable okay i was given the vegetables that's why let me refresh again and uh, yeah now it will set and here we got a total 17 vegetables product then i can just copy this here and here i will go push this and this one dot map and el and uh, return a op return a this one card feature just cut here here i will give this yeah now in this first of all we give the key uh, el dot underscore id after that we can give the name uh, el dot name category el dot category and uh, we can uh, display the price el dot price yeah now one more things i was forgotten image real dot image now let me just go on the feature card and here i will extract this image name price category and here first of all i will display the image img Due class name inside this I will add the image SRC and like that here I will give the image and class name will be width will be full so here I will give the height 
height will be full and uh, yeah after that here I will give the close this tag and uh, here I will define the height how much this card height it will be 80 so let me just see how it will be display here Okay, here it will be see it will be display here and it takes some time to load the data for that here we will display the some loading section for that uh, if data is not load then here we will display uh, where is gone home here it will be take some time and for that I will display the here just random data for that const loading array it will be equal to the new array and it will be contained approximately I will give the 20 for now I will give the 4 and it will fill with a null and just copy this here here I will display and uh, here I will use the ternary operator let me just change this okay if here data is not present then we can do if data is present then it will display the this part otherwise uh, it will be display loading card for that here there is here I will go and uh, loading card dot map el return home card let me just see how it will display let me refresh see it will display the ok price is also displaying for that mm. here where is on card here I will display nothing if some data is available then also this will display otherwise not for that let me cut this here and make a curly bracket and name dollar uh, ampersand and paste this okay I will make a fragment tag inside this I will paste this and format this now see when I just refresh it will be display like that yeah but here Here you can see when I just refresh the see this width will be small for that we some fix some minimum width for that uh, uh, here I was fixed but uh, let me just uh, I think I want to just cut here this one and I will paste outside this and uh, remove this tube which one uh, this image okay I was this is a image one this one is a for the images for that uh, uh, here I will make another due tag class name or I can add here also minimum width will be approximately 150 pixel yes see yeah like that it will display and in between the text it will display the loading uh, for that uh, here I will give the loading and just copy this and uh, in the home here I will pass a props key el dot underscore 
ID is not present then no need of this only I directly I give the uh, one more parameter I want to pass because it will be give the key error that's why index and here I will give the key index and loading equal to loading like that yeah let me refresh okay here not display the text okay let me just go on here and this loading here I will use the ternary operator instead of this and this name where is int this here 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 I will give the ternary operator and it will be the p tag and this will be the loading let me refresh see this loading is displayed but I want to make this tag in the center for that uh, uh, here I was not given let me just queue here also and uh, you can add any icon also for the loading and here I will give the flex flex uh, justify content center item center let me just see okay it will not be in the center for that i will give the height will be full let me refresh again see it will be coming loading yeah now it will be perfectly done this one and now let's go here and this card feature and here where is card yeah here inside this here I will give the flex let me just see and here it will display now in the card feature I will first of all give the minimum width for that uh, width will be full and uh, minimum width will be approximately I give the 280 pixel and 280 yeah 280 perfect and uh, little bit this image size is more for that we can give the 24 and this background color also I give bg slate and it will be 300 or I can give the white color and add a shadow this pg white and it will be shadow uh, in between them no gap is available for that uh, we can add a gap here uh, here I will give the gap five yeah it will be perfect and shadow is a little bit small we can increase this here I will give the shadow to Excel it height will be 28 yeah and its card will be padding will be approximately 4 3 mm, little bit more we can give the 4 we can give py equal to 5 px will be 4 yeah now this shadow is lg drop shadow yeah drop shadow is now good and let me remove the this shadow Yeah, 
yeah now it will be perfect and when i use hover then this shadow will be more for that we can give the hover effect see and our point mouse cursor will be also change pointer yeah it will be done and here i will display the name for that here uh, let me just copy from here i was make all this just copy cut here and paste inside this here I will paste this let me just see ok it will display like that but I want to display here for that uh, or we can display here also no problem and uh, only one thing I want to change this uh, text alignment center I want to remove here also I want to remove and this uh, name text alignment and yeah and this uh, product will be in the center for that mm. here I will give the flags justify content center items yeah justify con items uh, let me just see I was given the flags then I want to change the flags call and uh, this item will be coming in the center for that here this image I will give the flags flags call justify content center item center yeah see now every product is coming in the center and this card width will be much more I will reduce this it will be approximately 200 it will be perfectly fine now I will give this uh, here I will add uh, margin from top side it will be 4 margin from the top only after that here I will add uh, add to card button for that uh, where is here I will come mm, here I will give the um, button and add card and it will be the giving the class name and first of all background color I will give the BG its ba background color is red uh, red uh, 500 I think I want to give the yellow yeah yellow is perfect after that I will give the it will be 2 1 and yeah MY will be 1 this uh, because I was given somewhere yeah I will give them only top side mm. and why this uh, margin is coming little bit more mm. let me reduce this margin then this is because I was given the padding that's why it will be coming uh, I was uh, where I was given the padding uh, this 200 minimum width and uh, top side and here I was at the 4 uh, margin from the top 
let me just see why this are space is coming here yeah now here you, it will be gone only display in the desktop version uh, let me just check again and here yeah here it will be coming yeah it will be also look good only little bit space from here I will give the margin from the top side it will be 2 yeah like that and it will be rounded form rounded yeah now see our product will be able but uh, one thing is here remaining we have not able to slide this uh, product like this types of a knot for that uh, uh, let me just uh, here also little bit space for that uh, home and this tax I will give the margin from the top bottom side it will be 2 uh, let me 4 yeah and uh, here first of all I will add one more things here where is uh, this one I will give the overflow scroll yeah now see it will be coming now I want to make here two button for the sliding this here I will make here top section mm, for that uh, here I will just uh, wrap this in uh, another view and uh, here I will create view class name and inside this I will make a two button here I will add the icon for that uh, let me just close all this tab and I will go on the react icons and the previous uh, I will I think this one just uh, copy this here I paste this and next uh, where is and this one next uh, just copy here here I will paste this make sure that you want to import this both from here I will come import this from react icons slash gr and uh, where is one more gr nest yeah now let me see ok where is display here display but i want to display here for that mm, here i will give the uh, this one class name uh, flex and here I will its width will be full and after that here I will give the margin from the left side will be auto yeah it will be automatic coming and after that here one things I want to mention this item center yeah it will be fully like that and now let me design this here I give the class and uh, first of all I will add the background color and it will be 200 or 300 and however it will be BG slate will be 400 yeah like that and after that I will give the text size will be LG and uh, in between that I want to give the space for that I give the gap 4 gap will be not coming because I was not given the flex yeah now see after that I will give add in both of them Padding will be 2, not to 2, 1. 
yeah and in the form of a rounded yeah now see it will be this button will be done and when i just click then this will be slide for that uh, uh, here i use the tailwind uh, plugin tailwind css scroll and uh, here i will give the npm yeah this one and just copy this i will go here first of all i will go on the front end folder after that here i just install this plugin and here in the packet.json you can see uh, tailwind scroll bar is done and now i want to this plugin i want to add in the tailwind.config here i will tailwind.config inside this i will paste this and now home here i will give the uh, scroll bar none this is scroll bar it is not be display and yeah we can just go on the here see we are in the mobile gem we are able to slide this like that and uh, now when i just click there then this will be slide for making this and see one thing i was forget it i was this one is loading is done and here below is not for that um, uh, just copy this here i will paste again and i will here give the zero and uh, if here data is coming then also this will be done and uh, here I will give the this one again I will give the card feature let me refresh this ok it will display the this one and this one and I will just copy uh, this one and here I will give the feature and it will be the then just copy this and here I will perform a dot map el and I will close this here I will cut this here here I will paste this now let me just see refresh this ok it will be display but here this is also display for that here I will pass one props loading loading just copy this loading I will go on the card feature here I will give the comma and paste here and uh, after that uh, mm, I was given this and here let me here I will make a this loading or I can give this loading if uh, name is not it's mean that image is not available uh, then we can perform this one let me just cut from here to here and paste here like that and here I will give the uh, p tag p and here I will pass a props loading Let's 
see here loading is display but uh, this height is not for that let me just cut here and here make a due and here I will close this inside this I will paste this and after that here I will give the uh, its minimum height will be 200 pixel let me just see again yeah it will be coming and 200 is very much big we can give 150 and this text will be display in the center for that here I will give the flags justify content center items center let me refresh and see here display the loading yeah now this part will be done and this is scrolling things is in uh, remaining and I will do this uh, first of all here top section I will make a two function uh, nest product and this will be the callback function and second one will be the previous uh, product this will be the callback function and let me just copy this function and I will give the first one will be the uh, where I was given this button uh, this one on click here and the previous one product will be here on click on click here let me just come here and uh, first of all this next one also I want to make of here const slide product ref use ref yeah this one just copy this because I want to slide uh, this element for that I want to targeting uh, this container for that uh, I use this use ref and I will give this use ref to this container card feature and here I will give the ref this one and after that here just copy this and give the current element and we can use the scroll left equal to plus equal to approximately I give the 200 let me just see it will be working or not uh, yeah now when I just click uh, ok it will be not be scrolling why this will be not be scrolling let me just see here I was given product current scroll left uh, let me just see scroll left copy this I scroll left yeah let me just now check here you can see I will write like that I scroll left plus and 20 like that I was given and after that uh, see when I just click here see it will be scroll but it will be direct uh, I want to make uh, some little bit animation for that uh, here I will come here this one and here I will give the uh, what will be the smooth scroll smooth yeah 
see it will be like that and transition I will also add transition all refresh this and here see now it will be scrolling and this one done and one more things our left one also for that just copy this here I was plus increment here I will be decrement let me refresh again ok it will be scrolling and here it will be scrolling ok now this will be done and uh, here see some product are uh, this name is very much uh, uh, big that's why it will be coming in the two lines for that but we don't want to come any product in the two lines for that uh, where in the card feature I will add this uh, name here I will give the white space non wrap and it will be now see this tax will be overflow for stop this overflowing flowing for that here I will give the overflow hidden and it will go on the outside and for that I will go overflow on the uh, this tax element overflow hidden yeah like that it will be done and we are able to slide this and also this one will be the mobile responsive also like that see we are able to slide this we also slide like that also and in the mo mobile version also it will be displayed no problem and yeah our this now bar is not a responsive let me also make this uh, for that uh, I will do this this part will this part will be done now let's make the this now bar responsive header and here I will come this now bar will be not be display in the mobile uh, in the mobile version for that hidden and display in the desktop version for that I will give the flex and remove this gap flex now let me right click and here you can see now it will be not be displaying yeah like that it will be done and here it will be not be displaying now inside this when I was click on this uh, our menu then here display the all this menu for that just cut copy this here and I will I can copy this one all this tag here and I want to add where is here uh, this one yeah paste here and I will give here I will change the flex and flex call here let's check this see all this will be display here now I will make this why this will be happening and in between then I want to add this padding let me just cut here I will give here I will add the class name and it will be padding from the x direction will be 2 and padding from the y direction will be 1 and uh, any other more no and this gap is coming let me remove this gap yeah 
and now it will be fine it will be i will give the this minimum it's a little bit is uh, width for that i will give here uh, here i will give the minimum width will be 120 pixel yeah like that and all this text will be in the center for that i will give the text center yeah but it will not do it display all this in the desktop version for that uh, here i will give the md hidden yeah like that and when i was go on the mobile version and here i will click see it will display all this menu yeah login and home product yeah like that it will be done and now below this let me just do also Dis below this display the all the product for that this is for this I will go below and here I will make a div and here I will give the div tag class name after that here h1 uh, let me just copy this h1 tag same and here I will display the tag max bus your product and yeah it will be display here and here i want to add uh, margin from the top and bottom five yeah it will be here and below this i want to display the all this product and for that uh, here i will give the here uh, user we have ability to filter filter their product for that uh, due class name and here i will give the display all this category and uh, for that uh, i will give this uh, due class name here I will add icon filter icon for that I can give the filter and uh, here we can use the knife yeah I think uh, yeah this one okay this product is okay for now let's go on the here here I will add this and uh, let I want to import this icon also for that here import from react icon slash ci uh, this will be display here first of all I will do that this text will be lg excel yeah and yeah this will be done and I will give the padding will be 3 bg uh, yellow 5 and after that I will give the adding little bit more we can give the 5 and after that I will give the rounded full and now I will just cut all this here and cut here and make a one component filter product dot js 
okay.jsi was not given js and rafce here inside this i will paste this and format this and uh, one more things <coughs> i want to again import this icon for the directly cut here and i will paste here and after that in the home here i was home and here i will give the filter product let me just see how it will display it will display like that but uh, i want to add much more for that like this i will give the flags and after that i will give the gap or I can give the gap will be 4 yeah this 4 and uh, below this I will display the name uh, for that uh, here we pass a name or we can pass a category like this will be the fruit like that and I will go on here filter product and below this cut this here use the fragment tag and here I will give the p tag and here extract the category and here I will display this category and let me just see see ok here display uh, for that uh, I will convert this div in fragment tag in the div and now it will display here and I will give this uh, what will be the class name text will be center and font will be bold same uh, medium I think and after that this margin from the top and bottom it will be one and capitalize yeah like that and all this content will be in the center for that this home and this cap justify content will be center yeah for that uh, it will be done and here I will be make a category all this category list for that here const category list equal to the uh, where is this product product data and inside this I will first of all uh, grab the all this uh, category for that uh, mm, I will give the new uh, and again I will use the set or I can give the set and here I will spread operator product data after that I will give the map and here I will return the el equal to el dot category and let me just console log this which data is uh, coming category list and right click go on the inspect here see total 6 item is coming but it will be f ok it will be fruits no yeah it will be printing the only fruits uh, for that uh, okay, here I will give like that first of all I want to convert in the form of a array and uh, yeah this one and now let me just see how about the output here now see here display the total uh, list of the category now after that I will just copy this category and display below this and where we have a category here I will come and here I will paste this dot 
because it will take some time to display that's why and map el and here i will display the this category just cut here here i will paste this return and here will be the el and now let me just delete all these things yeah now this will be deleted now let me just check on this my refresh this and data will be loading Now see here display the fruits, vegetable, rice, cake, burger, ice cream, dosa, all these are now displaying and uh, one thing more I want to make uh, this will be scrollable for that uh, I want to give this uh, uh, overflow scroll overflow scroll and scroll bar will be hidden not be display like that when i was go on the mobile version see it will be coming but now here user will be able to scroll this one like that yeah now this one will be done and uh, now below this i want to display the data according to that uh, uh, here this one and here i will display the data uh, this will be container to display this here i will make a same exactly same card as this one for that uh, i can directly use this feature card uh, sorry uh, yeah card feature and for that uh, first of all here i will make a one use state uh, i will make a here also uh, filter data filter data display uh, for that uh, display const filter by set filter by and equal to is here I give the use state this will the string inside this we insert a uh, string i want to filter and uh, for that uh, inside this or when a user will click on the uh, this icon then it will be filtered by this icon name and one things i want to make by default it will be display the all this all the product for that uh, i will give no need of this and again i want to make a data data filter and set data filter which are a filter from uh, this and display in all the data inside this and this will be the array and now i will here i will make a huge effect and here this and this will be set data here i will give the const data equal to or i can directly use the set uh, data filter inside this call by function and it will be return uh, array and inside this all this product will be coming this product is coming from here uh, filter and here i will give the where is product data equal to dot filter el equal to el dot category is equal to the uh, this filter by just copy this here here i will paste this and here i will make uh, this uh, to lower case because maybe some case it will be give the error lower case this one also and uh, this one also here i will be the dot and this data i want to insert in this and yeah here 
okay speed operator he is here and when this uh, filter by data will be changed then it will be run again this huge effect for that here I will give the array de dependency yeah this one and just copy this here and I will come here below this oh, where, where, where this one uh, here I will come mm, just click on this and here I will use the map here and yeah now here I will return this card feature where is card feature let me just give the card feature and first of all el here i will give the key name key will be the el dot underscore id and image and image will be el dot image after that name of the product and here i will the name el dot name and category el dot what will be the uh, category 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 now let me just see okay here uh, no product is display for now some time and here below this it see no product is display why I want to check because of a data uh, in the fil data filter is no data is available and uh, for that uh, I will uh, make a filter this category is not uh, for a and uh, for the first time I want to directly insert all this data here and uh, for that uh, mm, first time we want to display all this data for that uh, here uh, display the all this data and uh, for that here we can uh, make a one uh, here I will make a one function const filter by and it will be the filter by handle or we can give the name handle filter product equal to like that and here inside this here in the parameter we got a category which we I, I want to filter this and after that uh, I will just uh, cut this here I will paste inside this and uh, yeah this one uh, and we can remove now this no need of this filter by this one and I will delete this one okay one things I want to yeah delete this uh, and uh, here filter by I will remove this category here I will give the category and after that uh, this set data which I was uh, very very set data ok I was also deleted let me back this here and this category again I will copy this here here I will paste this and yeah uh, now when the this function is called with category name then this data will be filtered and the, for the first time I want to display all this data for that just copy this here here I will paste this and now let me see let me refresh and check yeah uh, for the first time all this data is not coming why uh, let me just data filter and go back to here and 
data filter is not coming why uh, for that I can do here I will give the const uh, or we can use the use effect and here set this will be that empty data array and here just copy this here I will give this here I will give the filter product data and here I will give the empty array when this uh, data filter data will be changed uh, let me just cut uh, copy this here here I will paste this when fil this fil product data will be changed then this huge effect will be run now let me just see now see here it will be display all this product now I want to uh, where is uh, yeah this card and here I will give the flags now see all this item will be here and after that I will give the flags wrap and all this product will be go on the maximum price uh, maximum width for that uh, this card feature where is card feature card feature component and here I was given the only minimum width and not a maximum width for that here I will also give the max width will be also 200 yeah and after that I will all this component in the center for that uh, here I will give the justify content will be center and and in between them I will give the space uh, three a uh, little bit uh, four yeah now see and this card uh, okay I was now here little bit space for that card feature and here I was added the padding from the top side uh, I want to add uh, in the y direction yeah now see little bit space is coming here also and here display the all this product and when I was click on the any of this then this data will be filter uh, for that uh, I want to come uh, here home and uh, this card feature not a card feature this uh, filter product I will add uh, on click and inside this we call uh, this filter method where is uh, this handle filter just copy this here and I will come uh, here it will be the arrow function and inside this and here I will uh, pass uh, this fill uh, I want to filter by like that and after that this on click just copy this here and go on the filter product here I want to make here on click and uh, here I will pass a pro uh, take a props on click yeah now see when I was uh, let me also when I use our mouse in any of this then our mouse cursor will be changed for that I want to also give the cursor pointer yeah now see when I just click on the fruit it will filter by fruit when I just click on the rice it will filter by rice dosa paneer yeah like that it will be automatically filter yeah see it will be filtering now I want to make a in between them little bit gap for that uh, here I will give the margin from the top and bottom it will be the 4 here it will be coming and here this no, uh, 
price is not display why okay i was not pass the price yield dot price yeah now see here automatically all this product is display and yeah all this home page will be done and now one thing is remaining when i just click on the this product then it will be go on the uh, next product and display the all this product description and for that uh, let me just come here and here i will make a one component uh, this menu here will be it will be display all this component for that uh, i will come where 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 in the uh, root index.js file and here i will make a one after this menu i will give the one dynamic here i will give the after the menu i will add the filter by and yeah this one filter by uh, and it will be the menu component no component uh, just copy this and come in the menu when i just go this menu component and here i will give the here i will give the for now let me just comment this for now i will comment this and here it will be giving the error no problem and filter i will slash this here i will give the some random text like that and or or we i can give yeah this one and i will go on the menu page where is menu here here i will use the const filter by equal to use uh, first of all i will to get the value from this url this here we pass a id for that id const we want to get the id id product equal to use params here we pass a params and let me just check uh, console dot log params right click inspect go on the console here you can see we got a object and filter by and here i will give the params dot filter by and let me see here display the one two three which i was enter here after this slash menu slash like here i random text and press enter now see i got it here like that i will filter all this data and uh, for that uh, uh, by default i want to display some product for that just copy any of the product id i will just copy the uh, which product uh, let me just go on the home page and see uh, this will be the key third product this basmati rice uh, yeah here i will copy the uh, this id and by default i will set when i was click on the uh, this menu when i was click on the menu then i will go on the that for that let me just go on the header where is header and here i will change this slash this id name and also here in the desktop version menu slash this id and after that i will come let me just again click and uh, refresh this page and click again see it will be giving this id and now i will got this id and here i will directly extract also make a destruct yeah 
now here uh, also I want to import our data the const product data equal to use selector and here I will give the state state dot product dot product list let me just see I was gotten this data or not product data let me just see right click inspect console refresh this and uh, this data is printing or not uh, yeah this menu section yeah data will be printing now here I will filter const product display which product I want to display for that uh, here I will give the filter uh, product data dot filter el equal to el dot uh, underscore id will be equal to the uh, filter by this one and here display this data console dot log product data and let me just see refresh this page and it will be coming yeah here you can see one product is display here and here in the top section uh, here I will make a due class name and inside this I will display the our product for that uh, first of all uh, I give the this uh, size will be fixed for that uh, width will be full and max width will be approximately at most uh, 670, 672 and for checking purpose let me just give the this background color slate uh, with be 400 and uh, let me just see ok it will be not display why random subtext yeah see uh, this much width and uh, yeah this much uh, little bit more for that I will go 3x yeah like that it will be perfect and it will be come in the center for that margin auto and yeah it will be coming and yeah here now I will let me just give the little bit more if I give the 4 yeah and in that uh, first uh, here make a 2 come a uh, due tag for product images and description and here I will give the image SRC and yeah like that here SRC section I will give the uh, display data display data dot uh, display data and here I will give the uh, 0 and after that display data dot image and here we will be display the image and uh, on this image width will be approximately 1 by 2 and it will be the no problem I will give this shadow yeah shadow and drop shadow yeah it will be look like this or we can remove this shadow and I will give the little bit space from the top side also for that here I will add the padding uh, padding equal to 2 in the mobile version in the desktop version it will be padding will be 4 yeah like that and I think I want to add not here I will add here yeah now when I use our mouse will be here then this product will be uh, a little bit scale for that uh, here I will give the class and 
here I will add the scale 105 but when I was hover then for that uh, see when I have then this product will be uploaded uh, giving me little bit art and here I will add the overflow hidden Yeah, now see it, this product will be coming but uh, this will be suddenly coming we give the little bit de duration for that uh, transition all see it will be coming in the slow motion yeah this will be done and here I will display the all this product detail first of all I will display the product name I will just copy from uh, uh, multiple place I was uses from here this price detail just copy this here and go on the menu here I will paste this and here I will display the image no problem here I will display the like that copy and here I will display the category and here I will display the price okay all this will be display here no problem and after that uh, here I was not at the flex yeah flex will be done and now here I will increase the size of the, this text uh, will be uh, Excel a little bit more we can give two Excel in the mobile version it will be look like this let me just see in the mobile version it will be looking in the mobile version not it will be the flex like that see in the mobile vision it will be look like this and here I was given this let me remove this yeah now in the mobile vision it will be like that and all this product in the all this text in the left side for that uh, let me remove the text alignment center yeah now it will be look like this and below this display the tool name and be below this display the product uh, do mm, I will copy the button where I was uses card mm, fill feature card and this button let me just copy this and here I was not added the hover effect also see when I was hover this color will be not be changed for that hover I will give the BG yellow and it will be the 6 yeah now it will be coming just copy this one and come in the menu component and after that here I will make another due tag and inside this we paste uh, make a copy one which the will be the buy and another will be add to cart and this will be the flex and it will be the gap will be 3 now let me just go on the menu here you can see it will be display and uh, this uh, see this image will be go much more bigger for that uh, this one here this due tag I will add the max width will be 1 by 2 ok this max width will be 350 
और एट्टी I think I want to give the max width will be max width will be empty. Yeah, now it will be perfectly here. Display the this product and here name and let me remove this background color for that. Here I will give the this background color, and here this will be in the this will be display the bag uh, shadow. That's why it will be not be look good. I will remove this shadow, and yeah, and this background color also I want to give the white for that BG white. Yeah, now it will be look good both of them. And in between them, I want to make a tax. Let me give the tax will be in the MD. This in the desktop version, this tax color will uh, tax size will be the four XL. Yeah, four XL, and this category also little bit font size is also increased. For that, I will give the tax. Uh, Size will be the two XL, and this price also, and uh, this price will be. I will give the MD tax will be the two XL, and this uh, here I was not giving the padding. Uh, both of them I want to add. Press Alt and click here. Padding from the X direction will be the three. Padding from the Y direction will be the two, like that. Or I will add uh, four, five. Or I can give the one more things. I can add the minimum width will be approximately hundred pixel, like that. And after that, I will give the yeah. This will be perfect. And this top and bottom. In between that, little bit space is coming. For that, I will add a space here. I will give the flex and flex call. And after that, I will give the gap will be two one. Yeah, one will be perfect. And below this, display the description. For that, uh, here is a button. After that, I will dis description. And here I will give the P. And here description. And here I was uh, give the P. And inside this, I will give the. This product display description. Now let me just see. Okay, it will be not be able to display. Right click. Let me check check the key name, which one, and uh, this key description. And now see, it will be display, and I will make this heading. And class text will be slate char so we can give the five hundred six and font will be medium. Yeah, now see. This product will be done when I just click on the any of this product, it will be redirect to oh, the here. Here for that, I want to change all this card, and uh, for that, uh, uh, first of all, I want to go on the this card feature. Here I will add uh, 
link here i will add the link and uh, and also import from the react router dom also here i give the two and just cut this here just uh, cut here and go bottom section here i will and inside this i will give the uh, first of all why this error is coming let me cut here here i will paste this or why this error is coming okay inside the image okay let me just cut this here and i will paste inside this here and format this now here first of all i will give the menu and here first i use the template string menu slash and dollar after that here i will give the id and i will grab this id from here uh, card feature let me just go here where i was using the card feature first of all i will give the card feature here i will give the id equal to el dot underscore id and anywhere i was use this card feature here also i will give this and now let me just see i will go on the home page and here see this will be all this uh, all this feature will be disturbed this card will be disturbed for that card feature and i was given here here we give the where is button here and here i will add width is equal to full now let me just see now see our card item take a full width and when i was click on the any of this card see when i was click on the here see here okay this image is too much big for that uh, uh, here i was given the height will be 28 height will be full and it will be i give the 28 uh, uh, we can give this let me just see when i just go ok this height will be and here I was here in the class height will be full or I can here height given I can give here also and uh, this will be okay this will be the okay okay this will be the menu icon it's mean the this this one height okay let me reverse this mm, i want to change on the this menu one and for that uh, like here this height for that i want to go on the menu and here uh, i was not given the for that uh, height will be full and here i will give the height uh, max height will be uh, max height will be approximately i think i will give um, max height will be 300 let me just see or i can give instead of height i can give the width will be uh, we can give the width will be full and its max width will be yeah like that
okay it's width uh, here I can add a padding it will be approximately 5 and here I can give the max height will be the not a LG it will be um, the, this one yeah this one is perfect and below this display the some more product for that uh, display more product for that I want to separate uh, where is in the home component uh, card feature yeah this one I want to yeah from here to here I want to make another component uh, for that uh, uh, your product for that I want to uh, in the component folder I will create for a new file its name is uh, what I want to give all product dot js and rafce and here I can uh, first of all where 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 in the home section I will cut from here all this content and go on the all product and here I will paste this and see which things I want to require first of all this filter product and max here see this will be imported and this uh, card feature yeah now I want to just go on the home page and here uh, I want to first of all all this data for that uh, let me just copy this this data and here I will paste I want to import this use selector and category list for that go here and where is category list here let me just uh, cut this here and here I will paste this and yeah category list will be gone and next part will be the data filter ok home data filter ok this is this both are not huge and for that I can directly just cut here and here I will come here I will be paste this and use effect import and use state and yeah everything is fine yeah everything is running and now I will do one thing just here come and here below this I will I will be import all product yeah like that and now I will go on the home page and here see all this product will be display here and uh, yeah here it will be gone and go below this when I just click here it will be go display all this content will be center and for that uh, uh, here also related product for that uh, here I will go and in here I will pass uh, props uh, heading and just copy this heading I will give heading here and just copy your product here and go on the home here I will give the props heading and here pass a uh, props your product like that it will display here your product and I, when I was click on the any of this uh, card then here also I want to display like that for that uh, I want to go on the menu section and here 
um, where is all these are close uh, here not uh, yeah here all things are will close after that here I will import all product and heading I will give the related product and now here I will just save this and now see here also it will be display the product uh, and one more things uh, uh, yeah it will be going about this uh, it will be go about this for that I will go on the mm, where is menu card feature and here I was uh, useless uh, now let me just see ok it will be working and here I will click see it will be not go up for that here I will be add on click on click on click after that it will be go window dot scroll scroll window dot scroll here window dot scroll to and here I give the top will be zero and behavior we can give the smooth yeah now let me just see here I will go and when I just click on the any of the products see when I just click ice cream yeah see here it will be display the ice cream uh, here I will click yeah it will be working when I just click on the any of these products see it will be come here and uh, one thing uh, when I just click on the, this heading this uh, top card this one this card uh, then it will be not go any of the um, here this page for that I will go on the home card and here I want to also get the ID and I think I want to do one thing just copy here and home card I will paste here also and here I will close this and also I want to import this link from the react router dop yeah see and now let me just check again ok it will be display but it will be not go it will be undefined for that uh, I want to also re receive the id for that uh, I want to go home any here card feature home card feature where is here I want to give the id here dot underscore id now let me just check again when I just click ok it will be working see it will be fine working now uh, all these products are done and uh, our home page will be ready like that and our menu also page will be ready now let's go on the making the add all this product to the our this card and for that uh, let me just go here and where is card ok I was not created the card product before that I want to close all this uh, uh, folder we file folder which uh, open here uh, and also I will close on the here also and mongodb is not required for now now let's create a card section and it will go down and here in the page page I will create a 
contact about login and sign up okay card is not I will create a card dot js rafce and after that I will go on the uh, where 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 and uh, index dot js file here and here I will make a card and here I will give the component will be the card and make sure that here imported after that I will go on the header section uh, where is component header and here I was uh, this card yeah this card I will here uh, make a link to I give the card after that I will just save like that and just cut here I will add uh, after this due tag and make format this yeah now let me then check again yeah all these product are done and when I was click on the card see it will be go on the card page but one thing is remaining here see when I refresh this page then here this top section will be all this product will be loading but here in the bottom section it will be not be displaying uh, for the this displaying uh, here I also make like that uh, loading one and for that uh, all product and here uh, all product I want to make uh, if uh, here I want to turn this in the form of a ternary operator and here I want to also make uh, if uh, this product is not available then here I will copy I think I wish created somewhere yeah here just copy all this here and come here I will paste here and format this and loading is not coming here I will take a parameter or I can do one thing I can directly here just uh, type loading like that just copy this here I will like that I want to here also uh, this one and this one let me just see first okay here display the only loading not all this for that uh, I think I want to do in the filter I will do mm, here I can make a okay here display the loading only for that uh, this card feature uh, card feature like that uh, I want to make uh, go on the home section here this home card after that like that I want to just copy this section and I will implement uh, this one for uh, where 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 here and here I will make a ternary operator paste here and I want to make uh, data if some data is available here then yeah, like that and this loading array feature okay uh, I want to go top section loading array feature yeah this one just copy this and here all product and here I will paste this 
and why this error is coming ok and now format this I will give the next line now let me just check again when I refresh see here display the loading and here also all this card will be display loading yeah now every, this are working and this card now let's make our card section uh, when I was click to this add card then okay when I was click on the add card also it will be go on the here but I don't want to like that for that uh, uh, here uh, where I was make uh, go on the card feature card feature and here I was uh, okay here I was only click this heading one for that here I will create one uh, const handle add card product like that here I make uh, one function and this function I will get the ID yeah ID I will get or I will get yeah inside this I will get the ID after that I will go this ID I will get and after that I will mm, this function just copy this here and where is add to cart here on click this function we will call and here it will be give the ID and here it will be like that and here uh, I can give the E instead of this ID I can directly give the E and no need of this and here I will give the uh, E dot stop stop propagation like that when I was click on the any of the product it will be go here I will click on the add to cart then it will be go here for this stop, stop this bubbling this is one type of bu bubble for that uh, I want to just here I will just uh, stop propagation in javascript for that just copy this here and I will paste here when I just click okay here I was click uh, then it will be go uh, for that here I was link and I want to make uh, this button outside this here I, I think I want to queue and let's refresh this and now see okay when I click add card it will be not go when I click on the, this product then it will go yeah now this are done okay it will be working fine yeah like that I want to all the product inside this card and here will be display and uh, this card section here I will give the first of all heading yes to uh, your card your card items like that and here it will display let me just give the text will be lg and font will be bold 
and text color will be the slate 500 or we can give the it uh, and yeah and it will be seven six yeah six will be perfect and before that I only here add the padding to uh, in the mobile version in the desktop version I will give the padding four like that yeah and this will be the size in the mobile version LG and it will be Excel in text size will be Excel mm, to Excel yeah now it will be done and here below this here display the all the product and here display the list of the item uh, calculation for that here I will make a do class name and here uh, what will be the the do class name and here display the it will be the your display card items here display the card item and let me make the command and in here display the let me just do class and here I will close total card item here display the total card item quantity and all these things first of all here uh, I want to insert when I was click on the this uh, add card item then this product will be inserted on the one of the array and here this this number will be also increased and for that let me just go on the redux and where is redux redux folder in the product section and here I will give uh, here add card items after that here and also we make a delete card items yeah here I was with the product list and here I will add the uh, card item equal to one array here card item in the form of a array and yeah and here I will make a state equal to action here also I will give the state action yeah this done and uh, I want to export this both of this function and here I will give the function and delete also yeah now for adding this uh, I want to ID for that console.log action and here it will be display the ID for that when anyone any user will click on the this add card uh, then this method will be fire for that uh, I will go on the uh, where is uh, here card item and here card item here I want to add first of all I want to import const import add card item from the product slide and also yeah it will be done and here I want to use const uh, dispatch equal to use dispatcher 
use dispatcher after that here I will give the dispatch and inside this add card item inside this we can pass a ID this ID is coming from here like that now let me just come and click here and open this console this console and why these are happening here give the list props ok I think I somewhere not given where first of all I want to give uh, warning where is line number in the home section line number 87 ok home page and where is line number 87 87 87 87 here uh, here I was given the mm. and for that here I was given the 81 here I was given the IT no problem here also I was given here also here I was not given the key let me just give the index and one more things where here also it will be 87 here I was given key name is given then here I will add uh, loading and it will be coming at T7 then here here it will be done here it will be done and card feature this key I was given no problem and here I will add the uh, what will be the veggie tables and let me see and where is will be here I want to add card loading and all product ok all product here uh, all product section let me just go on the all product and here I was given this ok here loading section I want to pass one more parameter index and here I will give the key index yeah now in this time no error but here it will give you the error will be the mm, key will be props each style will be unique for that here I will add the all product coming mm, it will be coming where all click the render method all product and it will be coming filter cart ok here also coming I will give the key and here el dot or I can give the direct category and now where is coming react does not recognize a data name props where I was uses in the SVG icon ok CI fork and knife where I use uses 
filter product okay filter product here data name where I was uses data name okay it will be the some uh, issue with this library that's why no problem now here uh, our this will be done now let me just uh, right click inspect console and when I just click on the add card okay no event will be fire click then here ok console dot log uh, why these are ha not happening let me just check the alert if I was clicking or not here I was click uh, no no not happening here ok here add when I just click the add card then no event will be fire and I think this event propagation here I will remove this yeah now it will be firing and I will let me just see in the console ok here in the payload section you can see we got uh, this id now here in the where where redux so here let's go on the uh, where i was go uh, card item and here i was sending only id now i want to send uh, all this data like uh, first of all i want to send uh, underscore id and this will be the id and name and price and second one will be the category and this will be category yeah this much and image also image image now i will send all let me just click once more and here you can see in the payload section we got category image name and price all this we are getting now after that I want to add this product in this uh, uh, one of the array which I was created in redux where is redux uh, folder here product list and here this one card item now I want to add this for that state uh, state uh, state dot card item after that I will give the state dot card item each equal to the state dot card item here I want to spread this after that here I will give the comma and again create one object and this action again I want to spread the action dot payload and after that I will give comma again I will add the qty quantity equal to quantity will be 1 and total total value total will be for now I want to equal to the total will be uh, let me just create a total here const and here I will give the total equal to total equal to action dot payload dot price first time it will be equal to the total this 
price of this item for that uh, I can directly add this total and it will be total like that and it will be added to this and now for checking purpose uh, and it will be coming and uh, I will go on the card and here I want to const product data product card items equal to the use selector and here I will give this state state dot product dot card now what is the name will be I want to check in the product list it will be the card item here I will paste this and let me just console dot log product card item now here let me just check when I just click on the add card item here see inside the payload okay it will come let me refresh again I will run this now I will click on the add kite item and here yeah, it will be only printed this one and uh, why it will be not uh, first of all I want to the all this console just close this for that uh, this one is the header dot js line number 23 header dot js line number 23 here let me just uh, remove this and second one will be the home 12 18 home page and line number 12 and 18 12 and 18 and and another like product product slice line number 13 and product slice line number 13 okay it will be the okay uh, line number 13 mm, this one line number 13 is here let me remove this and after that uh, yeah it will be much more done when I just click on the add item okay it will go and here card will be printed and okay when I just go on the card then here it will be printed the one product will be available in the array and let me just add one more when I just click this and go on the card item and let me just see here two product like that it product will be added here and now I want to here also display the number and for that uh, go on the header and here top section I will give the uh, const card item number equal to the use selector and he state equal to state dot product dot card item once again I will check this yeah card item array and uh, I want to go here here I will paste and here just card item after that I will go where uh, here it will be display 0 I will make this and length uh, yeah. now see let me refresh this now see when I just click the card yeah here it will be inserted and why this alert will be coming let me just off this and where I was given this alert here card item will be not 
card feature yeah here hi now let me just see refresh again now see when I click the add card you yeah, see number in increases like this see product will be added inside this and here also we can click and when I just click on the here and here I was not given here see this product product are added inside this and here I want to also display this product and one more things uh, I was missing when I was click on the C uh, here add item then also this item will be added here uh, for that uh, uh, let me just copy this uh, this function and I will go on the menu where is menu menu page here and here I will give the uh, let me just expand this and here this description here it is a button I can do here yeah now here I will like don't I don't like that for that I can directly give uh, here I will just like this and just copy the product uh, display this one and here paste this and after that uh, I will just uh, import dispatch here const dispatch is equal to use dispatch and also this add kite add card item from the redux product slide yeah this one done and uh, let me just see when I click add item okay let me refresh this let me just go back and click add item it will be coming and when I just go click on the product here click ok now it will be not be added ok I was not calling this function uh, here where is this one on click yeah now let me just see when I just click see this item is added here now this part will be done and uh, this car item will be added inside this here all this product will be added now I want to display here for that let me just come here and card item where is card 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 uh, where is card uh, yeah card page and here I want to display here card all this card and uh, ok for that here I will come and display make a one view do and class I will give the first of all I want to display the image and image SRC and here I will give like that or I can do like here not here I say first of all I want to create uh, one component uh, card I card product dot yes here this is a card product and this is a card product make sure that RAFCE and now I will go on the card and here I will uh, first of all this product will be added inside this and let me just check ok here see this all this product will be displayed no problem just copy this here before that uh, I will give like that here uh, it will be like that and here map operation el and return after that I want to import card item what is this card product card product once again I want to check ok card is small ok 
cart product but c is small then i want to make it will be big uh, this one is small and this one will be big and this just copy this here here i will paste this and after that i will go on the cart and here i will give this cart product yeah now it will be display and uh, let me just see uh, where it will be display here in this time no product is available that's why let me add this product and here i will go here see okay here i want to display all this card and i want to first of all here data here i will give the key name el dot uh, underscore id and after that i will give the data equal to uh, i give the image let me make a new, new line and then in the new line here first of all we send the name product name after that images product images el dot image and after that uh, product category and it will be the category category el dot uh, category and also quantity is also added here when we add the pr any product inside the our card then here also one things i will added the quantity qty like that and for that i will go uh, i show you here in the card item in this time four item is available let me just expand this and here you can see this quantity is one and the total price is 40 like that and for that uh, i will also send where is card Art product uh, here I will change the QTY equal to EL dot uh, EL dot QTY and after that total EL dot uh, total yeah now all this product will be sent to the our this cart product component where is cart yeah cart product component here and here i will give this i want to extract all this value first of all id and let me just see our id will be sent how okay id i was not sent let me just send the id el dot underscore id now here I will go ID name image category after that QT quantity total and anything more and we can yeah only that much name and price also one things I was forgetted price I was sending or not let me just see uh, price I was uh, not sending let me just send this price el dot price after that I will go on the card uh, product and here I will make a uh, design first of all here I will display the image uh, here this class name I will give the bg slat it will be 200 and here I will add the padding will be 2 by default and yeah let me just see it will be taking the full width but uh, don't worry I will reduce this and after that here 
I will add the image and here I will add the image first and let me just close this see the images yeah image is very much big we can reduce this here I will give the height will be full and width will be also full object cover or instead of this I can directly give the height will be approximately 112 and width also same now let me just check a little bit width will be more we can give the 32 yeah and yeah now okay this will be fine and now I will yeah this will be fine and I think I want to little bit more 36 36 will be also fine and after that I give the BG white and padding here I will give the 3 and after that I will give the or here I will give the padding here padding will be 3 and let me remove first of all this background color here I was given the padding will be 3 BG white and here I will give the flex yeah and after that I will give the this will be the rounded overflow hidden yeah now yeah this will be done and this taking of uh, most width uh, and let me first fall after that here display the name and all this for that uh, I will go on the menu section and just copy uh, as it is uh, like in the here menu it will display that this name and all this yes I will copy from here to here just cut this here and I will copy sorry here I will copy and go on the card uh, card product and here I will paste this and after that here I will display the name category and after that price and handle product instance also I want to remove this for now and product display varies okay description also I want to remove this and let me just go on the card and see okay this buy and this one will display now I want to first of all decrease the size of this name here I will give the this will be 2 yeah 2 will be perfect or we can give the excel yeah excel will be perfect and it will be LG in the mobile version and this category category also I want to reduce this let me just give the base size and this price also given the price size will be font to excel uh, text base and after that this two button I will give the button will be uh, in between that this button I want to convert this both button in the form of a increment and decrement
and here I can give the I think 200 is perfect oh no no 300 yeah 300 is perfect now here when I was hover then it will be slate 400 here here also I want to convert slate 400 ok and now here I will change this will be plus and here I will give this minus and now I will increase this text size text will be to excel let me just see instead of using this I can use the icon also let me just go the react icon before that I will close this tab react icons and here I will search plus and uh, I will just copy the this plus one and here I will come and also I want to minus let me just give and where is this copy ti tv and here I will give like that I want to also import this both of icon for that I want to go on the top and here import uh, tb plus and uh, what is the second minus name tb minus from react icons slash tb now let me just check uh, refresh this page and uh, I want to go here mm, it's taking some time to load this product now it will be coming and after that uh, let me add the product in the card see here I was added all this card and this uh, width I was given the 100 pixel that's why and I will remove this minimum width here and here and instead of this I will give the uh, padding yeah like that and in between that I want to display the quantity for that I will use the p tag and here I will give the qty and qty will be one but it will be send not display the center for that item center and yeah after that here I will give the class font will be uh, semi let me just give the semi bold yeah and uh, this will be ok here I will add the padding also and now I when I was click on the in first of all give the space in between them for that uh, uh, here and here I will give the gap will be 3 uh, 4 yeah 4 will be perfect after that uh, I will give the 
uh, where I want to go in the card item and here I will give this width will be full and after that max width will be LG once again max W will be LG and a little bit more to Excel uh, 3XL I think perfect yeah here this one and in between that little bit space for that uh, I will go here and here I will give margin or here I directly give the here margin from the top and bottom it will be the approximately uh, 4 yeah now it will be perfect and this card is uh, not looking good for that uh, here I will give the rounded uh, yeah it will be rounded and here I will add the border also border and border will be 2 and its border color border select it will be 300 let me just see if I give the directly one border then yeah like that it will be perfectly ok and now I will make a increment and decrement this product and here uh, it will be display the total price for that uh, mm, total price will be display here and uh, let me first format this and total price I want to display uh, for that here I will create a due tag and this due tag I want to wrap all this one here and let's format again and here I will create a due class name I will add later here I will give the uh, p tag and it will be the total and after that here I will give this uh, another p tag and this here I will give the total and here it will be dis display the total and here I will give the flex flex justify contain space between and its width will be full uh, why these are not happening I can give the let me just give the background color for checking ok it will be only cover this much height for that covering the whole width for uh, here I will also add the width will be full and I will increase the size of this uh, width will be 36 instead of 40 yeah now it will be perfectly and after that I will give this uh, uh, it will be in the single line flex and item center and in between that I will give the gap to and font will be bold yeah and now I will remove this uh, background color let me just see yeah and font will be bold will be not look good uh, I will change the color uh, here I will give the text color will be slate and uh, 7 yeah now it will be good and wh when I just click on this then its uh, total value will also increases and also decreases for that uh, I want to go here in the product section 
here I will make a uh, const or I can do go on the here where 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 uh, inside the redux in the product slide here I was created a add item delete item and also okay I was forgetted delete one here I will add the icon delete and let me add this delete copy this and I will add a card item okay delete will be added here uh, this name I will give this here let's import this icon import uh, from react icons slash AI now let me just see where is display here I want to display here for that uh, just cut here or I can do here uh, where I will add cut here and here I will make a span tag or due tag class name I will give later and here just make this here I will give the margin left side will be auto now see it will be coming here and I will give this absolute okay now I will give the full okay instead of absolute this is a space is creating for that this space is not create uh, for that I will make a here another due tag class name just cut here and I will paste here format this after that here I will give the flex justify contain space between and here I will remove this now see it will be coming here and here I will want the cursor cursor pointer now let me just see yeah now when I use how mouse here then this cursor will be changed and uh, I will give the text color will be slate it will be the 500 okay or we can give the seven and uh, when I was hover then this text color will be converted in the form of a red color see yeah this color will be changing yeah now this will be done and when I just click then this product will be deleted and uh, for that uh, I will go on the reader uh, where redux folder where is here and here I will this delete item and here I will uh, just export this delete one here I was ex already exported and one more things I want to also increase the our quantity for that uh, increase increase qty and here I will give the st state action and arrow function after that I want to also decrease this quantity decrease qty and here I will give the state 
comma action and this will be the arrow function uh, yeah like that I want to export this increase one here and decrease one now let me just go on the card for implement this you delete concept where is card product after that here I want to first of all const and dispatch equal to use dispatch after that here uh, I will to import now like that de delete card item from the product slide after that just copy this uh, and this dispatch I will go where is uh, uh, delete one here I will give the on click on click on click after that here I will give the uh, arrow function you and dispatch after inside this delete uh, card item and inside this card item I will pass the ID this ID I will got from here this ID and yeah I will send this ID and uh, here I will send the ID and after that uh, here I receive the ID where is Redux folder here uh, let me just uh, console.log action dot uh, payload now let me first of all yeah console dot log and first of all I will add the item now see three item is added and when I just click delete right click inspect and here go on the console here see we got ID and like that when I just click on the delete then here also display the notification this item is deleted and for that uh, here I will use the toast from react hot toast and here I will give the one item deleted like this it will be give the some notification in the top section Yeah, click add add see when I just click here see one item it did uh, but it will be not deleted no problem now go on the redux folder and product item where is redux product item and here I will first of all const here first of all I want to find the index of the inside this uh, uh, card item for that uh, I will here use the product const index equal to the state state dot card item dot index of equal to the uh, index of equal to the what is the name only I want to pass the action dot payload and here let me just console dot log index now see let me just come here again let me just add this and here open the inspect console see when I just click on the delete it will be giving the minus okay why this will be giving the minus because minus it mean that this item is not available and for that uh, here 
write term in sense i was using directly i will give the instead of using like that we can use uh, why this error is coming here we can use the uh, find index let me just use find index after that here i will give the call by function el and here i will give the el dot id here dot underscore id equal to the action dot payload yeah like that why this really will coming equal to like that and here it will be printing the index let me just check again and yeah add item go here and click on the delete one item is deleted it will be zero yeah uh, it will be also here this is uh, this both are same product that's why here coming a zero and here you can see it will be giving the answer yeah like that two three all this index we got and now i will delete this product for that uh, redux and uh, i will go here and here i will give the state dot uh, card item and here i will give the splice method and here i will first of all given the index and second will be the how much element i want to display it after this index here i want to one and now let me just go again and here i will add the product once again this data is loading okay now it data is done and when i just click on the delete see this product will be deleted like that yeah now this product deleted now just click 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 and here now i want to make a uh, to increment and decrement this uh, quantity for that first of all like that i want to also find the uh, index uh, for that let me just copy here and here after after that here uh, again i want to this uh, quantity will here display here i will got the index and after that uh, this index i will give the mm, state dot uh, card item mm, and after that i will give the state dot card item and here i will give the uh, index dot q q t y uh, here first of all i want to get this quantity and q t y quantity first of all i get this quantity after that i will again yes state dot card item dot index i will state dot card item dot index again i will be uh, qty and here i will give the uh, plus increment qty uh yeah pre increment is that in sense that the quantity will be increment then inserted inside this now let me just see let me add the product and okay here i was not to use this increment let me just set up this for that i will go on the card feature and here uh, i want to import 
increment quantity and just copy this I will go here uh, where is this is a not not here I want to go on the cart where is cart yeah here here I will import uh, increase quantity and decrease quantity and just copy this and where is yeah. on click here I will fast dispatch and dispatch after that inside this increment and here I will pass the ID let me just see this ID yeah this is ID the increment ID and here I will pass uh, dispatch decrement and underscore ID now let me just see uh, when I click uh, maybe some error is coming let me just see assignment to const variable okay let me just see okay here I was given the const that's why I will give the let now again I will add this product yeah this product will be added and here when I just click okay this product will be see increment will be done and decrement will be not be done for that uh, let me just also give uh, first of all I want to also got this all things are same just copy here and here I will paste this and here instead of increment here I will give the decrement and now let me just show you again add a product and here uh, see it will be decrement also minus 0 increment and decrement now both are working but uh, here I think one thing is remain if QTY is uh, greater than 1 then also this decrement perform decrement will be done otherwise not uh, here let me just cut this here I will paste because quantity never go negative that's why and why this error is coming mm. ok here I want to make one curly bracket more let me add the product and yeah and yeah now ok this both product are same that's one which also added we will do later don't no problem see it will in this time only one product that's why and here see it will be increment will be done and yeah decrement and increment both are done and this double double inserted for that uh, here this card uh, first of all I want to check this item is available in our uh, this card item this card item or not for that uh, here I will give the uh, uh, for that uh, I want to check uh, just copy or I can use the same thing indexing concept just copy this and uh, here I will go on the top section also like that and let me remove this console.log here also here also and anywhere no and 
here first of all if this will be coming a zero no because index may be zero that's why this concept will be not be working and here i will for that here i will do just let me remove this and here const uh, we will first of all check this item is available or not uh, here i give the check and if uh, i will give the state uh, dot card item dot sum and el dot equal to el underscore id will be equal to the action dot payload dot underscore id let me just see console dot log and after that i will give the check let me just go and here el dot id okay here i will give the id dot now let me just go okay this page is loading and now see when i just click here see it will be giving the first time item will be uh, not available then it will be give the false and when this item is available then it will be give the true like that true true when i double click then it will be giving the true like that uh, for if uh, check here i will give the toast uh, already item in cart if not here i give the else and inside the else let me just cut this here like that and yeah now this here and uh, in the else condition i will give the toast and here one item added success fully item added success fully yeah uh, yeah let me just check like that when I just click add item see item added successfully item added successfully and when I was clicking which item is already available like this uh, uh, basmati rice this item is already available in the cart then uh, I can click uh, this here already item in cart like that and here see this uh, number is not increasing yeah now this part will be done and here this part I'm done and delete will be done now I want to uh, make this increment uh, see when I was increase the product then this total quantity is not increasing for that uh, uh, I want to go here increment and here also I want to uh, give the const total equal to state dot card item after that here I will give the index and here I will give the total and after that I will give or I can give the here find the price and after that here I will give the price and here I can create another variable const total equal to price into uh, okay this q1 increment is here instead of this we can give the quantity increase equal to 
and this one I will go here here and after that just paste here let's copy this here and here I will give after that again state dot card item is equal to index equal to total and equal to the total like this now let me just check again go on here and add item item added successfully and let me just go here and here I will increase this its quantity will be increases and when I will decrease it will be not but increment it done for like that I want to also decrement uh, for that let me just copy this part from here and I will go here and paste this here after that uh, this quantity just copy this here and I will paste uh, here uh, not yeah and this QR uh, here I will make this decrement decrement and just copy this here here I will paste this and also here now let me just check again I will go item added and here I will in, uh, increment this product and here decrement see it will be working and here I will I want to add the symbol of rupees for that uh, card item and here I was not added the rupees symbol let me add this and I will copy the rupees symbol where and here yeah here just copy this and I will come here I will paste this now let's see the rupee symbol is added and here I will display the total all this product here for that let me just go on the card section and here this product card item is here and here I will make uh, first of all H2 and it will be the summary let me just see where it will be display here uh, but I will want to display this and here I will give the flex yeah and in between the gap will be the 3 and after that I will give this width will be full and max width will be SM for checking purpose max W width V SM and BG slate 500 let me just check yeah like that and I will give the margin from the left side for that I will give the margin from the left will be auto yeah like that this will be the MD no problem and after that here uh, first of all this heading I will give the class and this background color mm. I will give the blue and 500 text color will be white and padding will be 1 uh, 2 and text size will be LG yeah now below this I will display the total uh, price total quantity QTY and here I will give this 
div tag and here I will paste this and here I will make another p tag here I will display the total price and uh, one more things I want to display total price here I will display the total quantity here I want to display the total price and uh, like that here first of all I will give the randomly ok and remove this background color ok now I want to give uh, this one I will give the BG not BG flex and full width will be full and after that I will give the class margin ML auto and C yeah like that just copy this or we can give the one more things uh, width will be approximately 56 mm, 32 yeah like that here display and after that I will also add the padding py will be 2 not here I will add uh, here py will be 2 and text size will be lg now here I will give the font will be bold yeah this will be done like that and here I will give the and below this I will add a border for that border B mm, yeah this one done and after that let me just copy the same things here I will add here and here yeah. yeah like that here display and here I want to display the price symbol for that uh, all product and price symbol here let me just copy this card item here I will display the price symbol yeah like this and yeah and here uh, I will make a one button for the payment Amen. and giving the class and it will be the BG red 500 width will be full and text will be LG yeah and font will be bold Padding y direction will be 2 and text will be white, yeah, like that. And uh, yeah, done. And here I want to display the this uh, total quantity and price for that. Uh, here I will make a const total price total price equal to product item dot field dot map 
or we can use the reduce accumulator current equal to the accumulator plus current dot total and it will be giving the zero and this total accumulator will be in the form of a string format for that I want to convert parse int yeah and let me just copy this total and here I want to display this and here you can see 970 it will be the total and will be see it will be increasing okay and this quantity also for that uh, here I will go const total qty equal to I will all this are same and here I will paste this and here I will change the only qty and just copy this total quantity and here I will uh, where here I will paste this now see now here all things are done now this part will be done uh, and uh, one things more if uh, our uh, let me just start from the here here you can see when I was go on the this card section then here also display this all this one and for that if card is empty then here display the uh, card is null for that uh, uh, I want to go on the card and here uh, here I will make a fragment tag and this fragment tag I will wrap all this component all this here and let's format this and after that here I will give the directly just uh, and here also I will curly bracket and if any element is available uh, or I can do your card is uh, I think I want to give here if uh, and this will be where it will be close it will be close here then I can remove here I will paste inside here and no now here uh, when any element is available in the this card item then it will be di display otherwise not for that here I will give the zero and here give the ampersand now let me just show see your card and here give the uh, some icon or some images let me just uh, search uh, google uh, empty card gif uh, like that and i will let me just check some animation type animation like this uh, we can go on the lotify and here we can yeah like this types of I can download this and I will download in the form of a uh, this gif and here see it will be downloaded like see here this card is empty like that let me just uh, go here uh, in the download section and just cut this here or uh, after that I will go here here and uh, in the front end part uh, in the src section as section here I will paste this and here it will be the empty here I will give the empty like that and now here I want to import this uh, import 
empty card image from first of all I want to go on the assist folder inside this uh, let me just go assist folder inside this I will give the name I can directly just copy this and let me just check it will be GIF for that now here I will paste this and I have GIF and after that here I will display and uh, here I will use the ternary operator instead of this ampersand and after that uh, where this due tag is close I want to see here after that here I give the ternary and here fragment tag and inside this we can add the due class name and inside this image I src and yeah class name I will add later yeah and here I will give the this image just copy this here and I will come here here I will paste this now let me just see let me close this one and here now see it will be coming here I want to make this in the center for that uh, here I will give the flex width will be full and justify content will be center items will be center now we'll see it will coming in the center and its image is too much big for that I will give this width will be full and this max width will be approximately I give the SM max width will be SM yeah like that it will be here display yeah and below this I will just uh, make a simple empty card empty like that I will display the simple text this one and here I will give the uh, flex call yeah, and after that here I will give the class and its text will be slate ponso text size will be the 3xl and font will be the bold and let me just make this uh, 7 or I can give the 6 or 5 yeah 5 is ok empty cart like that empty cart yeah like this and now ok when any item is available inside this then it will be display this product yeah now this one done and one more things when here see uh, I was click and which uh, which one is active uh, that one will be we cannot uh, like here I was click the paneer and it will be active here so the active one which uh, here data will be so for that uh, I want to go on the home section and here I was filter data uh, where I was given the uh, home card and previous feature card feature feature and all product inside go all product here I was added the filter product and here I will uh, here I will parts uh, is active and here I will give the heal this uh, what is the name this one uh, this element this category will be equal to the uh, current category which will uh, which category is filtered by uh, yeah. here I was filter this value for here and it will be stored inside this ok it will be not be storing we can directly pass with the function like here when user will be click automatically it will be done and for that we can do just copy this one 
here we can give the set and uh, here we can pass a category and this category just copy this filter by yeah it will be equal to then then this will active will be true and now let's go on the filter product here I will give the filter product uh, its background color will be changed for that I will use the till symbol and here curly bracket here also curly bracket and after that here I will give dollar curly bracket inside this here I will give the props is active and if it will be active then its background color will be uh, BG yellow and it will be the 8 let me just see and it will be not be look like I think something is a mistake for that uh, let me just check ok still not working for that we can make a two lower case this one and this one also two lower case and now check uh, ok still it will be not be working here I will give this just copy this and filter product again I will paste here and instead of using this we can use the ternary operator like that and here I will give the simple string pg uh, yellow or we can use if this is not active let me just cut here and then this background color will be like this let me refresh first when I click on the vegetable see it color will be changed but it will not be exact which I want for that here I will change this color uh, which color it will be it will be yellow for a little bit like 4 or we can give the 3 or we can give the red let me just check uh, red will be looking good or not and after that this text color will be also change white mm, it will be 8 6 yeah see now this active one will be in when I just click see here fruits and here all this category will float we know that this uh, here all this category will be the fruits and when I just click on the cake here so the all the cake category and dosa paneer like this all this filter is now working and we have completed all this and let me just show you again all this first of all login section here see all this will be here like that and uh, here we go on the login and here we enter the some random email id which i was uses one two three or we can use the one 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 and password will be the one two three and login login is successfully here display the images and we can also use here here see display the logout because this is a not a admin that's why if we log out it will be log out and 
we log in with the uh, admin email id then here i will give the password and login now see login is successfully and here we click see here new option is open a new product when i just click on the new product here i has ability to upload the images now all this will be done and see this one and here menu when we go on the menu section see here we have ability to like this filter a product pizza rice all this here it will be display and now thank you for the watching this video till this and please like this and comment this and please suggestion uh, which things i want to improve this thank you so much for wat watching this video